What's up, everybody? Welcome to Just <laughs> Roll with. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. My name is Grizzly, and I'm the DM. Jesus Christ. My name is Bizly. And I play Chip. My name is Condi, and I play Jay Farron. And my name's Charlie Slimesicle, <laughs> and I play Gillian <laughs> Tide Strider. <laughs> Welcome back to Just Roll With It! Welcome back, welcome back to Just Roll With It! Welcome back to Just Roll With It! Where are we last left off? Okay. The three of you, Chip, Jay, and Gillian. Gillian. Captains of the Riptide Pirates. You were introduced to Griffin shortly after your successful encounter with the Blood Orchid. This bounty hunter by trade said you could help him with hunting a monster when he seeks revenge on here in Noctis. Together you followed him back up the path leading into Twilight Town where you emerged into a gothic Victorian themed London style city that seemed to incline into three different districts. In the downtown district, you visited Celeste Crips, where you not only met its ghost owner, Rhea, who put Chip to sleep with melatonin tea, uh, said you could stay free at her mansion, so, as, uh, so long as you got rid of her ex-boyfriend, who turned into a wraith from the heartbreak. Oh, wait. I'm what sorry, is... I don't know how to make it stop. I can't make... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Smite the next person who does it. Kill them, DM. Once in Moonbeast Manor! Jay and Gillian exercised the Wraith and Expectors, collecting Rhea's invitation to Grimm's murder mystery ball and settling down for the night. However, Chip woke before everyone else due to sleeping much earlier and finding himself once again in a never-ending nightmare. Falling through the floors of this mansion, no matter where he ran, pulled into deep water and choking on his held breath, drowning incessantly. Before the rest of you awoke to the sound and then the sight of him coughing up this water, in the real world. He spoke briefly with Griffin about the curse that's taken hold of Chip, while also noticing the back of Grimm's invitation read, Come dress your best for admittance, which promptly set all of you towards the uptown district in search of finer fits. And so, the journey continues. We're back. We're playing D&D. All right, man. All oh, right, it's baby. Been too long. So you guys it's been all... three weeks, and I've got to... I've gotta... <laughs> See, I regressed last week, and now I gotta progress again. Yes. So, yeah, Charlie wasn't here. We played. Uh, we played yeah. Chip and Jay's meeting out. I, I, I ended I it. I ended it with you guys. They they found a blue fish man, oh. and that was it. So you guys are here, present day. Uh, all three of you walking out of Moonbeast. Walking out of Moonbeast Manor. Um, and basically following uh, different signs that lead you down the roads, the narrow roads of this kind of like grid-based city, like I said before. And uh, you do pass through what is like the central square of the city, that large, tall clock tower that you saw from much uh, lower when you came through the entrance in the downtown district. Uh, it is a beautiful centerpiece building. Um, if you've ever seen like the great clock, grandfather clock tower or whatever, it's very, it resembles that very much, but it comes to this uh, um, sort of pyramid-like point. Uh, at the very top, though, looking up to it is a bit, a uh, bit vertigo-y as you uh, can't really see that far up. But anyways, it's beautiful, and you guys continue up. The roads themselves aren't don't have any like stairs; they just kind of incline as if going up hills, uh, like slopes. And you pass a few buildings that are notable on your way up to uh, um, what is called uh, the catwalk, which is where you <clears throat> would know it's uh, the the nearest tailor. Uh, and, and hairdresser just by asking around. No need to, like, get into it. Uh, but on the way, you see a a, uh, a sort of closed-off building with, like, the, the windows and stuff are shaded, almost, like, tinted, so where you can't see inside of it. Um, and it's just called Brooks. And then you arrive at the sort of, uh, not circular, but, like, it's a, it's a grandiose door uh, into this just building that is shouldered wedged into the other buildings uh with uh in this uh like 
sort of like shoulder to shoulder building layout here and it is it just says the catwalk almost like a theater style uh, uh lettering and glowing words uh, above the door we can either walk around or we can just go get swarfed right away Swarfed? Why do we walk around? <laughs> what is, what no, 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 Jay, Jay, Gil, just a second. You want to run that by me just one more time, Gil? I said we can either walk around and check out these other places, or we or can just get, get swarfed, swarfed right away. That's, we can see, get that's swarfed. the part I'm having trouble with. What, right. uh, what does swarfed mean? Well, we're going to... We're gonna walk in there. We're gonna walk in there, swug, and we're gonna walk out, swarf. Swug. What? Are these <laughs> Again, that's words? another. That's another vocab word. I'm not familiar. Is this? No, like you're a, losing me. I think it's a fish thing, Jay. Is that actually? <laughs> um, I no. I just made it up. I just wanted to see. I was you, trying to think if there was any sort of word that um worked just, like this, where it's like you got you got fancier, and I couldn't think of any, so I said swarf. So swarfed is what came to your. Swarfed like is what it. I kind of like. It's kind of good, right? I mean, give I it a like shot. It. Is there one that you know, sort maybe, of comes to maybe mind? Maybe we can introduce, uh, introduce this as like a greater vernacular. Sure. On this, yeah. You know, we're we're a island, higher yeah. society. Maybe we go in there and yeah. say we'd like to get swarfed. Mm, I got swarfed. Maybe we actually. Oh. I think it'll but work. But don't well do that, accent. Like constantly. ever at all. Don't do what, that. Uh, I, do you, yeah, I don't know about that. But what about we walk in, bang on the desk? Let's get swarfing now. It's been and too it's long like... since we played, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shit. We could get get swarfing. I feel like is a completely different thing, and I don't know if I want to get to that per se. Griffin walks up to you, Jay. He goes, "Here," and he gives you a pouch. Just give me whatever. I'm not really into this kind of thing. Didn't yeah, think for you sure. We'll swarf you up anyway. <laughs> I don't know if they have it in your. I poke his belly. Size, big man. He doesn't have like a gut or anything. He's extremely ripped. Sure, but he's a panda. You break your finger on his on his <laughs> fucking abs. Yeah, I mean, like he's he's, he's super big. big but it's, yeah, well, I mean, it's not. No, no, no. He he has the the the, the triangle shape. Dude, it's um, not a fat joke. It's just he's a big. He's a panda. Like, I just they, like the idea of you poking a furry animal you expect to be soft and just being like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, it's hard. <laughs> so, okay. Why you. is it hard? <laughs> and you're She's so a tailor. Oh what the fuck? I'm sure she can make something. Okay. Um, we'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll Again, say, you'll be swarfed by big. the time you're out of here. Again, swarfed. Like, that just... You're just it no, sounds kind of good, It though. sounds Doesn't good, it feel but good like, to I'm, say, Jay? It I'm, feels good. Yeah, it does feel good. I'm coming yeah, around to it. I'm just not. I don't know. I, I feel like we're just. Chip, you're being a scloif. Oh Dude. my god. That's not even a word. You're just yeah, is. saying. I just what mean does that even mean? <laughs> okay, it means but... what it means. When you hear the word scloif, what do you think? Scloif? It sounds wet. S it sounds like a wet word. Is it wet? Scloif. <laughs> you're just making it me like it more. <laughs> good luck with your scorfing. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it. We'll need <laughs> it. Stay, stay scrunkly. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> scrunkly? I know, uh, it's ridiculous. It'll never work. No, no. They, that's not going to get on around. He, 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 uh, yeah. right, he, he just starts to walk away back towards Midtown where you guys came from. Um, okay. All right. All right. We all. <laughs> what do you guys need to, do? You we like all to need to do this confidently. We all need to own it. If it's gonna catch on, we have to walk yeah. in there okay. and sell I'm it like you. it's been I'm the here. thing forever. I'm in. Okay. Yeah. We know it's all right. a thing. Gillian, the fact I'm that they don't know it. means they're lesser. I think actually. Okay. I kick open the door and I say one big swarfing for three. No. Oh, we're looking. We're yes, looking we're to looking to get swarfed. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like cross my arms and lean up against Gil okay, like I'm really confident. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so really. That's guys, cool. I slam my newly newly acquired pouch of coins on the desk. So there is I just no like pick up desk. something random and like start will... spinning it like in my hands, like on one you... finger. All right. So <laughs> you pick up something random outside of the shop because no, inside, like inside the shop, like I walk inside and not... like pick. There's not what? anything. What? There's I nothing. Don't... I don't. I'm trying to describe it to you. It's pretty open as soon as you walk in. There's okay. not nothing directly in what? front of you as soon as you walk in. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I mean, you can grab like a hat, maybe. No, I, uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> I do a. I'm gonna try and do a handstand. All right. So you do a hand. Okay. And then Jay, you do what? You just slant. <laughs> you. I, I walk in shove and the slam the my, pouch my coin of, pouch of on the desk. Yeah. All right. So the there's no desk. So you just 
Put it right I drop it there. on the ground. I drop it on the okay, ground. Okay, and then Chip, you just gonna lean. <laughs> I saw, I'm gonna slip my body and just really set him flying everywhere. <clears throat> you guys burst into the doors of the catwalk here, and in front of you is this um, a, a sort of a long rectangular shaped building uh, uh, with these red velvet floors and uh, like little lights kind of embedded underneath. Uh, the floor itself in the shape of a star that come off and give this a uh, glow underneath ever, uh, each one of your steps. Um, you would see that there are sliding racks of a massive collection of clothing, like coats, vests, slacks, top hats on the left, while there are uh, 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 clothing like gowns and, and, uh, and um, different like ballroom dresses and uh, uh, what is that thing that goes around your fucking like waist? Corset? <laughs> A corset, yes. Um, all those kinds of clothing on the on the right, more kind of like velvets and leathery, while the the, the, the left side is more like uh, cotton and etc. Uh, while there are two staircases at the end of this room, uh, much farther in front of you, uh, the floor itself kind of like dips into this uh, almost like a, a slight bowl with like a three steps that lead in. And it gives like a high rise platform to the surrounding perimeter where all the clothes are. Uh, and then at the very end, there are these two staircases that incline towards you with the actual like balcony itself being obscured by a, a dark maroon uh curtain like a stage curtain as soon as you burst in descending <laughs> from the ceiling on this like swing with a spotlight that goes right on them to illuminate them you see uh a a woman who has silver a coily hair that's very well dressed and and decorated with like finely made deep blue uh ball gown with intricate rose embroidery uh and and those uh, uh silk gloves that have the rose kind of like brochet i think it's called on the wrists uh the shoulders are accentuated uh in the sermon where they kind of like bowl out if i can uh if that's a good way to describe it yeah i get you and the ends of the sleeves fan out uh, with the bust of the dress exposing the chest with two straps uh, that attach to like a laced uh, choker around the neck with the kind of... <laughs> <laughs> and as she descends, you hear her call out, my, oh my, what brings you three to the catwalk? We're here to get sworn. And to town, for that matter, as you're not even <laughs> dressed similarly. <laughs> because that's what we wanted like... to see you about. <laughs> We're looking to get... I look around. Swarfed. My eyes are bulging. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> swarfed. Oh my God. <laughs> Chip, you're not, Chip, you're not being very swarfy right now, bro. Gently <laughs> sort of... Uh, yeah, um... swarfed. We're looking at... Yeah. She gently gets off of her little swing that starts to ascend as well. Audibly gulp. <laughs> and she swarthy, struts her stuff swarthy. right in a line towards uh, you, Gillian, and she says, I've never heard the term before, but a moisture master such as yourself, I could really get into dressing. And then she kind of like... I can be moist! Her. <laughs> she, looks, uh, she looks over to Jay. She goes, My darling, you are... Beautiful. Has anyone ever told you you have the shoulders of a goddess? She like starts to like bite her finger as she like uh, uh like eyes you up and down as she's uh, uh circling uh the two of you, ignoring you know Chip's no entire has. existence. <laughs> oh well, don't also there we do have uh, Chip with us too. Of Standing course. eagerly, We're also looking like, to get swore. like just like the two of your figures are immaculate to say the least. It's been a while since someone of such stature, and she starts to like squeeze your shoulders. Gillian has walked into my. I'm like literally five feet tall. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're very muscular. What is it that you two do? And she steps in between uh, Gillian and Chip, putting her back to him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's going on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ! You know, seafaring of the general so sort of the general. We're actually, we're actually unlawful. both captains. I'm, I'm also a captain. <laughs> Sorry, did you I, hear something? No, I it's didn't. just, no, it's just skill. It's just me. It's, it's, it's Chip. Hey, um, <clears throat> it was just the two of us, wasn't it, Gillian? <clears throat> no, and, and it's, it's me. For two. Uh, hi, <laughs> I'm uh, Chip. Uh, I'm with the, the other. Yeah, I'm the third, uh, well-built uh, captain. 
<laughs> Mostly, Captain. I'm the, she turns I'm the... around, <laughs> looks at you, Chip, for about five seconds, and then says, Your kind of clothing is on the left side, and then she, uh, feel free to peruse around. And then she, like, turns around again. <laughs> so, Captains, pirates, we have I ghouls just, here. I want to, like, slip in in front of them. Well, actually, we're all kind of like a... a to, it's a together... Th we're like a crew. They were like, you know, I, I kind of took them... Pick whatever you want and bring it to the register, and she poises you, uh, pushes you to the right a little bit, <laughs> and I'll make sure you get taken care of. But you two are absolutely adorable, and if I could see you, oh, thank you. sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Jay, a pirates little, a little help here, Jay. We don't hey, have much hey, of those. Jay, hi, Jay. What's up? I'm over her shoulder. Yeah, like we're sorry. Guys. Excuse me, ship. We're in the, I don't mean to be like this right now, but we're in the middle of something and it's very fortunate that she knows exactly where your kind of clothing is. But for people like us, like, like us, Jay, yeah. it just requires, like it seems, a more specialized well, touch. A skilled, a I skilled want a specialized hand, touch. So what did I get a specialized touch? over there. I point at the wall where she's been pointing. What's I don't over see there? The issue. there in the left section, like I, um, Described, it's basically like racks of clothes that slide continuously, almost as if it's constantly sort of uh, rotating a collection or catalog of different like cl cloaks or, and coats on the left side, where there's more like dresses and and uh, those kind of like uh, like lace blouses and all kinds of stuff on the right side. Oh, actually, you know what? We do need a sport. So she points three. to the left with like the coats, the slacks, and whatnot. Um, and kind of like tries to usher you over there while kind of being really laser focused on these two as she specifically gets closer to Jay's face. Did I just wake up on the ugly side of the bed today? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why you am I just? Day. Why am I just horribly ugly? You are cursed. You didn't cough up twenty liters of seawater this morning. Let me just remind you, bro. I, I'll tell you in the just roll a little bit. <laughs> Which will be on Patreon. <laughs> just tell me. What is it? Um, Can I roll to find out? Is it why all the women grease? Is it all the grease on his face? <laughs> Can I, insight. Why does she hate, not won't like is it, me? Is, is it his stupid haircut? Dude. Is it his dumb haircut? Dude. It's in that unhappy medium area where it just doesn't look good ever. Is it his? Yeah, he's got <laughs> uneven eyebrows. <laughs> it's 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 the haircut, it's his teeth? bro. It's no, it's not. It's not it's, the haircut. It's the haircut. It's kind of in that transition phase from the buzz cut into back to like short, not, medium oh, hair. That's not true. That's not true. Yeah, it's I, the I made it grow long. It's I made rough, it grow man. long it's because rough, this man. is a video game. This is a game and not an actual real game, life. Bro. This is yeah, not this is a game, but it's a game. But it's a game. This is not a beep boop. Stop picking the words that I say wrong and just repeating them instead of listening to me. You can. I'll let you roll inside, but she's going to. I'll let, uh, going to ignore it for a second. She gets closer to Jay. You're swarfless, bro. My I got a love. Six. You have such an exquisite face. Your structure, and the way you are built, is like designed by an artist. Surely. You can. You say have that. worn even the finest fashions before. No, actually, I've mostly just worn, like, hand-me-downs, and... Oh, a tragedy. An actual tragedy. <laughs> and you, sir. Gillian Tidestrider, Moisture Master, as I'm sure you already know. I'm moist, I'm moist. I've worn, I've worn many things, armor, mud. Is there anything that you guys are looking for in particular? You Attention. have entered with a reason. Yes, actually, we're Shh. we're looking to get dressed up for uh for the big event tomorrow. It is tomorrow, right? I'm not mistaken. It's tonight, isn't it? It's tonight. It's tonight. 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 It starts tonight. Ah, <sighs> one of Grimm's fabulous parties. New to town, and you've already been invited. Well, we're working on it. We're work we have two Im invitations and we need five. You know how it goes. Three more invitations. By the time the party starts, yeah. I, I suppose you'd know a way. Since uh, a particular trade that might interest you then. A train? Where? <sighs> Unfortunately, I myself only have one invitation and. When a beauty like you, and she uh, is still circling around you, Jay, 
walks into my establishment, I don't want to let this opportunity pass. So if you would be willing to hear me out on a particular offer, it comes with clothes specifically designed for someone of your attributes. <laughs> Hey, Jay, okay, we need I'm, an invitation and clothes. This sounds like a that's great true. deal. true. This is a great deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Unfortunately, I can only give up one set of clothing for the uh, magnificent mistress here for free. The other ones do require payment, but there is something that I could use your help with. I am putting together a collection of designs to send to the international fashion of the sea competition. Oh. oh, that sounds prestigious. And should you, uh, just if it's just one of you or both of you would be so ideal, would model for me my clothing. I mean, that sounds kind of fun, right, Jay? It does, actually. You know, the last invitation <laughs> we earned, um, we had to fight an angry ghost ex-boyfriend, so this sounds it, way This better. is definitely an improvement. Yeah. I can model. I can be a model. I can. <laughs> I've modeled before. I've been on it. I've been. I've done. I wear clothes. So is this? Uh, I just boy stare with at you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I just look over and stare at you. This, yeah, um, he's lost puppy. Regret part of your yeah. group. Uh huh. What the <laughs> hell? I am not a lost puppy. I'm sorry, I'm with I am mistaken them. with the, uh, the large, affectionate eyes that you had going on. Big, bulbous head. It was, yeah, they were literally bulging out of your I head. Because I thought you were pretty, but you're just an asshole. Maybe you didn't hit on everybody My you God, need. Chip, that is... Maybe if, if you that shut is, the fuck up, Jay. Chip, you have come into this establishment. This is not very swarthy. This is not very swarthy. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to go look over here. <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> I'm not a bastard. I'm not a puppy. My my apologies, darling. I didn't realize you were with these. Uh... Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I get I'm it. Sorry for a friend. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Whatever. He's a bit. Don't like, look over here. Okay. You know. You know. I did overhear that you were looking for some sort of special touch. I stopped for a second. I just stopped walking. Like mom stood there like a toddler who's like <laughs> who's like tempted. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> well, what kind of touch are you in the market for? I need... I need clothes. <laughs> He's like a nine-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can put something together. If the three of you... And she, uh, you know, kind of gestures, like waves her hand over to meet up with Chip. If the three of you need uh, more invitations, I do hear quite the amount of gossip in the entire city, and she sort of looks at her sparkly, uh, uh like, <coughs> wrist kind of, uh, broche. She's, like, uh, expecting it, inspecting it, and looking out, you know, sort of well, pedally, pedanious in a way. No, we can probably find them on our own, right, guys? We don't need you. One of them is in All a the gentleman's club. Get, absolutely. No. Oh. Uh, called Brooks. I'm sure you'll pass it on the way. I know Brooks. that the one of the frequent goers could possibly have his own invitation, though uh, getting it is uh, uh, not in my uh, idea brain. And uh, <laughs> 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 and um, as far as another one, if you help me, and I'll just give you instead of a discount one of these invitations. The fortune teller, that um, rat of a man, though a bit creepy, has uh, a special sale going on today. Special An sale. individual who first comes and first serves receives their invitation mm. in exchange for a particular reading. Mm. That is, if you would be so interested, Mr. Um, Puppy boy. Not puppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Sorry, audio boy. listeners, I'm doing some, some bullshit with my face. There's some okay. visual bits right now. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, visual bits. You want to see them, check us out on YouTube. We're there too. Um, I look. I kind of turn around. I go, okay, listen, lady. <laughs> I'm okay, not a puppy. I'm a captain. 
And you... Well... Well, you were actually pretty helpful. But you weren't very nice about it. Now, why don't you like me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, you know what, dude? <laughs> Am I ugly? Just tell me. I can take it. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. <laughs> so fucking sad. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, am, am I ugly? I don't feel like I'm that ugly. You can see the bags under my eyes. I'm <laughs> torn and like, hey, hey, do you want to take this worn? one? No, just like tell me though, cause I like I, I'll understand. Yes, you guys, you guys know like in SpongeBob when they zoom out yeah, and face, that's and it's like a thinking. gross up. You got like yeah. this, yeah. Is, like, this is like crust this is like under your eyes. There's like the sound, <laughs> sound of flies and stuff. It's like a woman <laughs> screaming. Darling, darling, please. I mean, just take it down a little bit of a notch. I'm, okay. Yeah. I'm it is my cool, mistake for judging you on your first appearance, but uh, I am sorry to say, I see this quite often. This? Here in Noctis, you look haunted, and I don't want to get involved in anyone who looks the way you do. Oh. Oh, it's just because I'm cursed, guys. <laughs> I'm not ugly. I just have a curse. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> have you always had you know this? What? Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're just cursed. That is oh, an that's, interpretation. That's so much better. I was really worried about it, honestly. I, I don't, Okay. I don't have the heart to tell him, Gilly. I can't lie, Jay. You know, I... Just don't say anything. It's not I'm lying. I'm not usually one to change my mind, but um, because I really like you. And she uh, uh, winks again at Jay. Uh, if your friend would like to join for this... um. Little fashion show we're going to put on. He could, I, I guess. Do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Go get him in here. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> now what do we do? I thought you said you'd modeled before. Shit. Oh, no, I was just saying, I just wanted to be involved. Oh. <laughs> so if you have anywhere else to need that you need to be for the next two hours or so. Uh, let me check my- nope. Fabulous. And she claps let both of her hands, destiny. and at that point, you guys would see the curtain that is above in the balcony uh, open up pretty sporadically as three of these swings start to descend down and then uh, oh a scoop God. you up from your standing. Holy shit. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, I don't feel so show. good about leaving Ollie on the ship. He's been there for like a whole day. He's been there for so long, ship. <laughs> And also, you were, like, really mean to him last time you saw him. Was he was cool. mean to me. What are you talking about? And you were mean back. Literally a child. <laughs> He's literally a child. Okay, he called literally me a bastard. Right. I told him to go away. He said These it swings, these swings kind of the cut the conversation off <laughs> as it uh, lifts you <laughs> up um, into the, the, the second floor here where you see there are multiple spotlights and only one of them is cascading on the entrance to what is a long, beautiful catwalk with still that red velvet floor, but now with like golden lights kind of giving a glow, uh, like a, a, a glowing light hallway, if you will, on both sides of the catwalk mm -hmm. here. And the actual coat racks or, or racks of clothing that were on the first floor extend up into this floor oh. and they are also moving as well. Um, and at this point, should you guys have any ideas for your character's clothing, uh -huh. you are able to describe yeah. it as it is probably the first thing you walk out in because uh, what you would learn her name to be. Uh -huh. I am Mistress Matilda and I am the finest fashion designer in the entire world. And then uh, at this time, at this point, she basically takes control like this is one big tango uh, yeah. and sends you guys into different dressing rooms where she allows you to pick your outfits first based on a few different select uh, like pieces. And from there, we'll we'll keep it going. But okay. so first to step out, by the way, you have to roll a performance check every time you walk on the catwalk. Holy okay. Shit. Do we change outfits every time or is it which which one is we're going to do? We go we're going to do we're going to do uh, one first. OK, the okay. one that you've written first. Okay. I don't have my. I want to go last. I have, like, put, me last. put me last. Put me last. All right. I'm ready whenever, too. I just have like visual references. I don't have anything <laughs> written. Yeah. Same. No worries. No worries. I don't have anything written either. We're just gonna see how if it's fun the first time. <laughs> uh, the yeah. two of you get to watch uh, the uh, the other three, the the third before yeah. you go out. Yeah. So first up, Chip, 
Kadoosh! The big spotlight comes off. The the curtain splits for you. You walk in. If you <laughs> you can describe how you strut or what you look like. Okay. Um, she, and you have to roll performance. Chip out first for so real, damn. <laughs> music stops. Oh. The lights are down for but a moment. The light kicks on, and an empty space. And then you hear, "Staying alive, kick on." <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what kind of vibe are we going? Uh, I don't he like immediately I, changed the vibe. With and I, I <laughs> and I step out, wearing. <laughs> uh, does this have to be my final one, or can I do a funny one first? You can oh, do a God. funny one first. <laughs> okay, I step out wearing an all polka dot suit, with, <laughs> and, and I've got a very like tall hat and large bulbous glasses like I'm Willy Wonka and I go stepping out strut 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 now stop look over at you pose all right roll performance with disadvantage disadvantage <laughs> deserved okay deserved. well the first the first one's a 24 second one is a 18 I still pull it off I'm fucking I got I got swag when I move I walk with it ooh ooh the polka dots are weird but it works you know what I'm saying I just make that shit work and then I I turn around you feel a little a little whip and then I go back in I come back out all different staying alive is still playing even though you're not hearing it thank you copyright for that I come back out I'm strutting I'm strutting I'm strutting I'm strutting I am wearing an all black suit with white okay. underwear over top of it oh, and a polka God. and like a and like a, a white and red cape flying back. And I've got a superhero get up. <laughs> but it looked dumb. It looked it looked stupid. I come I'm I'm stepping out and then I I Miss poke I poke your nose, Gillian, yeah. and I walk back. Miss Matilda, oh, I don't it, know what to make of that. Would he even be able to get into the party with something like this? I don't even know where he got those abysmal clothing. Would he even uh, be able to get into heaven with something next. like that? <laughs> Me Save next. the show, please, my love. No, and then I she walk sends out you one up. more time. No, 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 no. You don't switch out. I do. I do. I do. It goes, I do. It goes, you don't switch out. The curtains close. <laughs> you switch outfits. It's like initiative, okay? You switch outfits on the next round. Oh, All okay. Right? All right, so you just did the polka dot run. Next up, Jay. You walk nah, I'm out. Coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out perfect first Chip, try. It was a good walk. It was a bad outfit. That's all I'll say. That's okay. <laughs> um. So Jay walks down. She has this this kind of like long down to her knees dress, full black, um, with some like white accents and frills going down it. Um, has short frilly uh, arms, and also down around the neck as well. She has a little um, also frilly as well uh, necklace that goes around with a little opal in between it, and one of those small like top hats, those gothic top hats uh -huh. um, with a little <laughs> with a little rose in there, a red rose, and some crow feathers that kind of stick upwards towards it. Um, she has her hair actually curled and like let down this time and Ooh. she's got some makeup on as well She's got bright red lips with uh, some eyeshadow some Ooh. purple eyeshadow and uh, eyeliner go. as well oh, um, cool. Going down the dress you actually start to see some constellations like on the actual dress proper like on the lower part and uh, underneath the dress she is wearing a Ruffle trim petticoat. I had to find the word. I had to ask Maddie for that word um, <laughs> underneath it and she has uh, about I don't want to say thigh high, but like just knee high uh, leather boots that have I, thick heels. I get it, back. bro. That is amazing. Yeah. I ask Lumi about outfits all the time. <laughs> I'm like, what is this called? <laughs> That's fucking beautiful. All right, roll your performance check. No polka dots, no disadvantage. Uh, 18. <laughs> Chip, I hope you know I'm not bullying you this session, but <laughs> I know. No, I did this to myself. 18? All right. The outfit is beautiful. The walk is a, a little off, so she gives An you some pointers. And 18 is a little off. Holy shit! Damn, she I gives tried you, my best. She gives you some pointers, um, and she uh, has some ideas. Should you want to try something else? But after that, you walk back out. You feel fucking uh, flawless as she's made you out to be. And Gillian, you walk out. Finally, my time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Play ominous music. Oh yeah, I also forgot. Jay has like a little mesh coming off of her hat that goes down over her face a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you I actually visualized that. The spotlight even kicks on, and there's nothing there. As a cold wind blows, I look across. over to Chip to make a make a comment on Gillian not being there, and he's wearing the superhero garb still. So I just don't <laughs> until this is, is, is I'm like smiling like ear to ear, <laughs> and uh, her, like her breath, she's not even breathing. She's just looking right at the stage. <laughs> you see, as the light starts to sweep across the room trying to find its subject 
and you hear Gillian's voice. <laughs> oh, this is fucking horrifying. Hang on. You see, I wanted the perfect suit. It pans over you, it blinds you for a second, you just see white. And all of a sudden, you start to see sort of movement in the distance. A suit for Gillian. It whips over to where the voice is from, and there's nothing, just like a <laughs> shimmer of movement, and it's gone. And you hear from behind you, a Gilly suit. As you turn around and see Gillian Tidestrider positively covered in moss and grass and all of these, like, various just, like, plant plant life in an actual ghillie suit and then rocking like also like fucking 10 inch heels <laughs> the 10 inch heels bro <laughs> as he is just manifested behind you as the spotlight turns blinding you as you whip around and see if they're breathing the steam coming out of his mouth it's perfect I have to give you disadvantage in your performance <laughs> <laughs> I rolled. <laughs> All right, you you walk out. I rolled a uh, oh 13 with disadvantage. You fall down an army crow right across <laughs> the camel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the heels are a little awkward to walk in. The outfit does not fit the theme. <laughs> The general theme, so you know that it wouldn't really blend in. I have like war paint on too, and like everything. Dude, you walk I don't know out. Shit about fashion. <laughs> you strut. I it's do. not. It's not like a great performance. I don't strut. I crawl. I crawl and but roll. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I crawl and roll around on the stage covered in moss. Matilda sheds one tear. You're not sure if it's good or bad. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you and you uh, you exit the catwalk here. I cry. And... Yeah. I crawl off stage and disappear from vision. Mm -hmm. uh, and with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I want to look like forever, so I just know I want to, I want to go again. Give me another top go. Top of the round, top of the round, Chip. Um, after, with some sort of hand-picked options here from Matilda, you walk back out a second time. What are you wearing? Roll your, roll your performance check after you describe. <clears throat> so, I step out. Mm -hmm. And you can see me. My feet. Pure white. Yeah, white. But coming you have shoes, out of like them, shoe, do you have shoes on? But come, yes, they're shoes. Okay, they're shoes. They're all white. Okay, all right. Coming white. out of them is a bright yellow, almost rubberish raincoat kind of material. It moves all the way up my leg with but a black stripe up the side and the other, and it goes all the way up to so where you can see what covers my chest is also yellow and like a raincoat. It's a raincoat suit. It's a raincoat suit. And I have oh a goatee, my, my and it's God, like a jacket. The it's hood a revolutionary. Is, the hood is down, but I have a, a like a like a beanie that is a raincoat, and I'm wearing glasses. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> We're never getting into this party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, the music shuts off halfway through it, and you can hear the sound of the material rubbing against Oh my itself. God. <laughs> He's doing it, Jay. He's beginning to swarf. Oh no, man. <laughs> Are you gonna make me roll with double disadvantage? Oh my god. You just disadvantage again. Okay. Performance at disadvantage. What's that gonna be? What's that gonna be? What's that gonna be? <laughs> 24. <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh my god! The He's other killing eye. it! He's the killing other eye! It. The other eye of Matilda's face drops a tear. You don't know if it's good or bad or not. It's good. It's good. It's a 24. <laughs> it's fashion. You don't know if it's good or bad. Next up, uh, Jay. The first outfit is what I want, but I'll go again. Um, All right. We're going to do something a little different. Jay walks out in, in full Navy garb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, no, I just want to, you know, I just want to picture the Navy, what does my sword. Navy Garb look like again. Like, what are the colors? Uh, red, white, and gold. Red, white, and gold all the way down. Um, she's even got the dress on for it. Her hair is let down and strained again. Um, and she has different makeup on this time that, that matches this better. I don't know how makeup works. Don't ask me. But surely somebody in the audience knows. Um, <laughs> Speed and she makeup. Does, it she literally does, um, runs directly off my face every time I try. <laughs> <laughs> Too moist. 
Um, and she just does like a regular sort of march down down the catwalk this time. So the navy doesn't wear navy. Nope. Like the color. No. That's bold. Yeah. Miss Why would they do that? Miss branding opportunity, huh? You can get on that. <laughs> I rolled That's a like their one color. My, my, Holy my fuck, a natural one? Okay, I yeah. jump on the stage and say, <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Not like this. Okay. Yo, it's just, it's just uh, outfits. That's what I, they all I, say. I point, I point at her. Navy! And we start beating the shit out I of her. I tackle her off the stage in a ghillie suit. <laughs> you can hear the ghillie suit rumbling in the, the raincoat suit. Jesus like Christ, squeaking. It's just squeaking, <laughs> it's just squeaking everywhere. Jay runs off the stage. I'm sorry. This, the thought of the sounds we would make walking <laughs> is so, so funny. funny. It's so funny. I'm Ooh. sure Grizzly thought this would be like such a cool like fashion Yeah, moment. well, fuck him. It's my turn. <laughs> hey, I, took, I did mine seriously. First, so I mean, I got it. <laughs> Gillian, uh, you're up can, next. Okay, have you, you finished get... beating the shit out of Jay? <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, the light swings over, and you see, uh, uh, right there for sort of a position to Gillian. Uh, it looks like he's gonna walk in and sit. Uh, on the on this like chair now that's this this sort of like thicker aquamarine um, um, chair that starts to kind of slowly swivel and you see as the chair <laughs> disassembles and stands up as Gillian has put on a chair suit that allows him to when he sits down he looks like a chair and so he stands what is he, he stands up because he's put the parts of the chair on his legs and his chest so that he looks it looks like he's a chair until he stands up and he the worst up. part about this is that all of these the, all of these are matilda's designs that she's submitting and you're just making them up you let us do this oh my god you let it happen so like you can realize okay i want you to i want you to know what happens with this okay just so that you know like this is so pointless this is going to go out there and whatever wins is gonna catch on, and over time, people are gonna start wearing these chair suits. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna be—it's gonna be the most confusing fashion show ever. Can you imagine walking into an empty fashion show and all the chairs stand up when you walk in? That's it's gonna terrifying. Like, it's gonna simplify over time. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, yeah, I turn, I, I turn into a chair. Um, <laughs> If you are gonna keep doing funny bits, Matilda will dress you this time. I have one. I have one. Is this the last? I just is wanted this the to last do. One? I wanted this to do the last two funny one. ones and then a normal one. Okay, this is the last one. Last, okay. uh, last, last walk on the catwalk. Here. So top of the round, Chip. Actually, okay. uh, Gillian, roll performance again. Oh my God, you're right for the chair suit. Why? Yeah, you didn't even let me roll. This bullshit, man. It's like. Uh, what if you got a natural 20? 17, not a natural 20. But I also, can it be my destiny? Can it be my destiny? Well, do you have Dude, disadvantage as a chair? It can. Do I have disadvantage? As a chair? I mean, it was no, pretty it's, cool. It's a dark chair, right? It's like black and stuff? Yeah, it's like, like a sort That's of good. dark blue chair, yeah. I just had polka dots and he's a chair? <laughs> yeah, you were <laughs> like white polka dots. Uh, people and wear polka dots. 18, people 18, don't 18, 18 wear total. chairs. <laughs> Dude, not yet, fashion. they don't. Chip! It, it, the whole thing about this, you know, is trying to make breakthroughs, all right? I, 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 I respect the polka dots, okay. but you're in a place where the main color scheme is black. You're right! Ooh, okay, all right, all right. I gotta reapproach this. Okay, so now Chip actually steps out, um, wearing a... She looks preemptively <clears throat> disappointed. A, like... Silk red tailcoat with with um, kind of black swirls going up the the sides and and up to the shoulders, um, and it doesn't connect in the middle uh, because it it is separated by several silver buttons that line a a black kind of detailed vest. It's all black. It's all pretty much like silk uh, with like a a raised kind of pattern on it of gray uh, on the on this vest. Um, the coat itself has has these black cuffs at the end as well, uh, and this kind of comes down to a point on the back and is split, um, just just a bit down to where the legs are and stuff. And the the pants are are a very like nice fabric, but they're just black uh, down to the the black shoes as well. Um, and the the pants kind of like bunch up a little bit around the shoes that are very slick and point out. Um, and this, this coat kind of comes up to a, a taller 
Um, what's the word I'm looking for? The thing around your neck? Collar. 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 Jesus, thank you. Um, yeah. So, an, yeah, an exaggerated, like, pointed collar. Yeah, well, it's not exaggerated, I wouldn't say, but it's definitely, like, taller. Almost like how a, um, a turtleneck gotcha. would be. Um, and no, no tie or anything, really. There's just, like, a little bit of white... Uh, I don't know what you would call that either. That little thing that goes at the top of of the coat of the vest. Um, I know um, exactly what you're talking about. And I'd say his his hair. It would just be like a like a very gelled slick back. Um, if you'd allow me, I want a little cane. Ooh, yes, cool. I would allow you. There are cool. there are all kinds of like different accessories that that are sure. uh, that go with the, the clothing rack. So. <clears throat> I'd have roll I'd with have advantage. Just, okay, I just have the cane, and I'd I'd like for I don't, you don't have to, but it'd be cool if one of my swords was in the cane and the other was was kind of tucked in uh, discreetly. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. Mm. I rolled a one and a three. It's all right. It's all right. So you rolled an eighteen, a twenty-four, and a twelve. Mm. Uh, which adds up to fifty-four. Is this the outfit you want to end the night with? Yes. You get 54 uh, off the total price of your outfit. 54 gold. Oh, okay. As you walk back in, um, she actually uh, walks up as you get to the edge of the uh, the catwalk here, uh, Chip, and she throws around this sort of uh, like black silk cape that only covers one of the arms uh, and hides and obscures that sword on that on that side. Uh, awesome. And then she says, I didn't know you had it in you. Well, well, great to be, be proven deceiving. wrong. And uh, she spins you around and you kind of like twirl a full 360 before you will start walking back down. Uh, next up, Jay. Um, okay. I'd come out in the same outfit as I first started with. So instead, just to make it more unique here, um, what you get sent mm -hmm. out in from Matilda's perspective is a uh, 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 a very exaggerated ball gown in this sort of emerald green color made of velvet with the actual sort of uh, corset decorated in black roses that cover up only up to uh, just above the, the chest. So beneath like the collarbone line and whatnot. And then you have these sleeves that cover the shoulders and come mm -hmm. down and then fade out. Uh, I also fan out just like hers, but then fade out into more of like a sheer material. Uh, and then you're wearing this kind of like black lace collar with a green emerald and it contrasts your orange hair uh, and around that sort of, and you're also kind of like in this sort of like wireframe uh, ball gown setup where it makes the dress and like the hips look really large as they yeah. do in like gothic fashion. Um, and then that black sheer material that covered yeah, okay. your face with your first outfit is covering uh, and layered with the uh, green emerald green fabric of the ball gown at the ends of it and uh so that's what she puts you in <laughs> it is sort of this like orange and green uh mix between your hair your eye color and then the dress itself with like still going with the rose sort of pattern you had going on with the the hat in your first outfit but more uh on the dress itself mm -hmm. which black roses and um uh, roll your performance check yeah uh 14 14 and next up, unless there's anything you want to say, do you guys react at all to each other going out? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm applauding. I'm like, this yeah, yeah, is yeah, awesome. Okay. Yes. I just want to make sure I'm hearing I think I'm what's starting going on. To, I think I'm starting to actually get it now. I think I okay. understand what I need to do. You got it, yo. Uh, Matilda, like, shouts out in glee when you walk out, Jay, and she, like, claps furiously. <laughs> and then you turn around after doing your walk, and next up is Gillian. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm worried. You don't need more spooky music, do you? No, um, actually, I think I do. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I walk Christ. out. I walk out. Um, you Something see, about Gillian? You see that I've dyed my hair completely black. And oh it, my is, God. it is falling over my eyes. Like, just like this wet, this just like wet black what the hair. Fuck? <laughs> you see that I've, okay. I've applied liberally black eyeliner to my eyes. It is now already running because of the moisture. And you see, as we as we pan down. Um, this is such a look, bro. You see this, this 
black leather jacket <laughs> with these like various spikes and like metal protrusions on it. <clears throat> you see, uh, he he's got like a couple of these like sharper like rings and things uh, on his on his fingers. It's, and and it, as he opens up his jacket, you see he is this deep V neck that in like anarchic text across it in red says cussing, and then he closes it and it just and, and he closes it and it just says sin, and he's wearing uh, like dark blue. <laughs> Uh, Levi jeans. Um, <laughs> this is the look. This is not at all <laughs> the fucking thing. They got <laughs> Levi's on this island? <laughs> they, they don't got Levi's on the island, bro. Barely they do. Now I go by kill. Okay, kill. Um, I'm gonna roll. I, I slow clap. I'm gonna roll performance? Surely you, this is. If you I change mean, the denim to something else, it won't be a disadvantage. Oh, it's the denim that's throwing you off. <clears throat> There's no denim in this place, yeah. Oh fuck. Um. All right. Uh. If I. I mean, also the it. shirt that says sin on it is a little off, but you know, I'm just gonna let it go at this one point. It says cussing. You're you're, you're <laughs> digging your own grave. <laughs> I've got a I've got a sick necklace too. Um. Uh, it says some bullshit like chosen one and it's like metal and stuff. Um, uh, let's let's make it instead of instead of the, the Dude, jeans. Uh, the of island jeans. is in the 1800s. You are in the 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I gave it my best shot. Okay. Um, let's if we if I make the jeans leather, can I get can I negate this advantage? Yes, absolutely. You it is like my, a, you it is like my destiny. It is my destiny. It is my. I know that was the vibe I was going for. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Can I have... Hang on. Can I have Pretzel give me advantage with the help action? Because I have also given Pretzel eyeliner and knives. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You want advantage with the what? Sorry. On the, on the performance roll, because she's giving me the help action. As she, sh as she sharpens the knives. <laughs> sure. Cool. I think I rolled worse anyway. Um, yeah, you did. So, we're, rock, we're, we're rocking much. a sixteen. How do you? How does Chip and Jay react? I slow clap. I slow clap, and I start clapping. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think I got it. Hey, I think Chip, I got yes. the vibe. Uh, I think is, I locked it down. This is like incredibly off brand. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's got the perfect figure, right? Sin? He looks Are fantastic. You kidding me? He has sin. He, he says it's no, a sin. no, oh, no. It says, see, it says cussing on it. Are you, no, but if you close it, then it Jay, says. Are you it. questioning the artist over here? Obviously, this was her design. She and had she a vision mess, right? for me, Jay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you questioning my design? Yeah, exactly. I, would I had a vision I for him. I just. <laughs> I like it. I think it looks good. By the way, you know, mistress, who, who am I? I'm no fashionista. Great work you, uh... on the chair suit, mistress. You did phenomenal. I did like that. I'm so and the, sorry and, about Jay. And the She's rubber and the like rubber us. umbrella suit. Oh my God, you went crazy. It was a little oh, loud. Oh please, but... Gillian, you are flattering me. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the hair falls over my face. <laughs> she kind of like jumps back. She goes, "Oh, into character, are we?" Well, these are the outfits that I have planned. What do you think? Um, does, I'm, does this dye come out, by the way? In about a month. The pants are really tight. I Shit. feel really tight. Ugh. Oh. I mean, if this is what's gonna get us into the party, it's what's gonna get us into the party. Oh, this outfit, she kind of like motions over on the on this cussing. It... <laughs> Grim might not have a particular taste, but if you close the leather jacket and mm -hmm. possibly throw on um, different boots. You may be able to get let in, though you'll stand out like a sore thumb, which could be beneficial at a party like Grin's. I gotta, mistress, I gotta stick with your vision. Who would I be if I, <laughs> if I turn my back on it now? Give me some kicks. Give me, uh, give me something to wear over this. I'll be all set. I look over to Jay. This is insane, though, right? This is completely bonkers. <laughs> you guys spent the better part of like this, two hours doing I, this. I, I feel like we have swerved. 
Can I also get a fake gigantic sword and put it on my back? Like, for no reason. <laughs> is it really, like is, the, is the golden sword? lotus not enough? Huh? Does the golden lotus not work? No, the golden, the golden lotus, lotus, golden lotus, lotus is good, but I want like a fake, like really, really like big, like a colossal weapon. Sword. Yeah, like just like a huge sword. Yeah. Too so yeah. too big to even fathomly swing. Look, I can say you. I'll say you can get it, just not here. Okay. Okay. It, it doesn't no have to be swords. real. It can be like it's it's like fake. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to be a real sword. Yeah, but she doesn't have any like cosplay weapons around. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just the just the normal stuff. Uh, normal. Anyway, so all the swings come back. They seem to be sort of stemming from some like uh, magical means, and they uh, they scooby back up. And instead of going down the steps like a normal person, she gently guides glide or glides you all back down towards the f first floor. And um, well, I have had the pleasure of getting to know you, and especially you two beauties. <laughs> But I'm afraid this is all I have to offer, and I know that you need to get on your way and acquire your invitations to make it to Grimm's uh, murder mystery this year. Or this month, I should say. They are quite frequent. So with that, I am very curious on where you plan to go next, and what do you plan to do at this party anyways, as she starts to, like, ring up how much uh, gold this is going to cost. Well, so first of all, our buddy here, Little Cursed, uh, as you saw, um, hoping to maybe get that undone um, cool. for one. Uh, and we also have this bird. <laughs> oh, shit, the bird. Is Apple with us? Apple's totally with Apple? us. Uh, yes. Yeah, Apple's been, oh, been, hey, been, Apple. been keeping up. Apple Ooh. was part of a few outfits. <laughs> Has good, had good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. magic used against her in, in some sort and don't really need to go into details here but can we're, apple be dressed wanting... up as a raven oh my god <laughs> as a raven yeah you can give her like a little raven head hell yeah Just, you know, like blue little body big raven head <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice. funny <laughs> she's just like on my shoulder <laughs> my you are certainly an open book yeah <laughs> the life of a pirate a is such of an adventure well, it's not, it's not as interesting if you don't tell everything, every, everyone everything you know, you know, it's just... <laughs> it's it's fun, fun for you to trust people then. Yeah. Are you hoping that I break it? She gives you like a smirk. <laughs> That's up to you. We'll, we'll see, we'll see on that, you know, you, you do what you will with that information. <laughs> oh, I've been told to have um, somewhat of a big mouth, as they say, but... For you and all you've done for me this evening. You'll dress well. your outfit 13. for free. The other two are only 50 gold. Okay, quite. we also need to just grab like a few things off the wall here for our other buddy. Uh, a big right. man, big panda he actually man. actually gave you. I have no money. <laughs> Jay, it's a, Jay, Gil, Jay. Don't worry about it. Jay's no, got us. Jay's got us. Oh my How God. could I forget? He gave you a uh, fly five platinum, so 500 gold. This oh. will easily pay for your stuff, considering on how well you guys did with the catwalk and how much time you spent here. Um, wow. And the amount, the massive discount she has given, um, and she, and uh, with the stuff that you pick out, you let her know that it's you know huge, big bodied uh, outfit comes back with this sort of like uh, or, or, ornate black tail coat with an under, uh, um, and like a blue vest velvet vest underneath um mm -hmm. with the information provided the black fur will kind of blend in with the tail coat but also still show some of the muscularity uh and underneath is that that blue velvet vest with like uh, similar uh flower like patterns or designs that sort of you know what i'm saying um yeah there is uh he he also gets one of the, like a like a cloak as well with an accentuated collar although it's a little optional um Pants and boots, belts, chains as well as normal, all those kind of things. To spice up Griffin for the party. Team, huddle up over here. Okay. Yes. Before we pick his clothes, just You're remember. You're right, Chip. He did put trust in us. He left it up he to did. us to pick his clothes. You specifically, Actually, he, let, he left it up to me, yeah. Yeah. Either way, yeah. whatever you get, you can mark off. You'll have uh, three of his platinum pieces left. 
I just okay. think about it. Think about what he would really want us to do for him. He'd want something great. He'd want something that's yeah, something black and no. And Griffin's a guy that, that likes would... to stand out, Jay. Griffin's a guy that no, likes he to isn't. stand out. You know Have that. Have you seen how he dresses? He does not Let's stand I out. Like to, I've spent a lot of time Actually, with him. Only... I like to think I know him pretty well. And he you were asleep is half the time we were party. with him. He wants to stand out. He you wants were to literally... be at the front and center. You know what I mean? Now, Gillian, it, it, I would make the decision to get the raincoat suit. But I'm not, you know, I want to do right by him. So I think we should let Gillian choose. The chair. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Get the chair. <laughs> Will the chair get Jay? him into the party? Jay, <laughs> get the chair. Uh, maybe if you're going like to take one of my designer color. pieces for that hasn't actually been fitted for a large man of his stature. It's gonna be a big chair. Big chair, yeah, big chair. You'll only have uh, about one more of his platinum pieces left because of that particular piece is so... Jay, Jay, so Jay, 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 it's so Jay. expensive. <clears throat> Sorry, Jay, hang on. can you really put a price? Can you really put a price on something no like a chair, though? There's no discount on this one because it's uh, it's for Griffin. It's also what she wants to submit. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. All right. Maybe we mm. just go with the the, the no, basic suit. No, Gil. Come on. We just add Think about accents. everything okay. that Griffin has Chip, done for us. Chip, if no. you're willing to put the money down yourself, you can do it. What do you mean? I'm not it's spending his, his money on it. Why? That's what he gave it to us for. Yeah, to buy him something to get him into the party. That will get him into the party. He will be so pissed off. Oh, he will shoot us. Why would me specifically. He, be mad? he will shoot me specifically. And he's done that once. And it was very unpleasant. I think you'll probably Jay, right. Jay, Jay, listen. I understand you're worried. I get it. I totally Chip, get it. I would I'm going to shoot you. Stop yelling at me. All right? Bring your voice down. You're at a 10. Let's be at a 4. Okay? Think about I'm this logic. yelling. How could we put a price on something as luxurious, comfortable, beautiful as that chair that Gillian was wearing? Gil, how comfortable was the chair? I mean, How stealthy was... did you feel? <laughs> oh, I mean, I felt like I could get in anywhere where people needed How to sit down. How often do you feel stealthy? <laughs> How often do you feel stealthy? Not very often. I'll this tell outfit you that. made Gillian feel like something he's never Chip. felt before, and Chip, maybe it would make happens. Griffin feel that too. Chip, if this happens, are you going to take responsibility for it when he inevitably of gets mad? Of course I am. I Jay? insight check you. <laughs> okay. You guys don't have to roll for that. <laughs> No, it's you I don't play. believe you anyways. This is <laughs> what did you you roll the three? I rolled a three and I don't believe you anyways. Okay. Um my deception That's is my an eighteen. Default. You believe me. Oh my god. No, she wouldn't believe you anyways. You then why did you roll? I don't, I don't know. know That's stupid. <laughs> it was you stupid. Roll, you roll, the roll. Bro, go you with the roll. Go with the roll. Go, go with the roll. Go with the roll. Look, go with Jay, the roll. I I understand I haven't taken Responsibility for Chip. things in the past, Chip. but look but, at me in the but, eyes. But, but, I pull out my gun. Chip, I pull my gun at Chip. I hold Chip. the gun to my oh head, my but but I will shoot you if he shoots one, me. Every one, bullet, one bullet for bullet. This one time, I will what take responsibility. I promise. So let's put the gun down. Okay, I'm pushing it down. Okay, get the chair suit. Okay, chair suit. Gillian, we're I'm taking the chair suit. Him. I am gonna shoot him. I just want you, you to know right now. I'm, I'm reapplying him. the the eyeliner that's fully <laughs> wiped down my face. It's starting to get into my eyes. What? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna shoot Chip. Captain J says we should take the the chair suit for for our buddy you over here. You also take the ghillie suit, by the way. I would like it. You spent all his platinum. Let's spend it we all. We might yeah. as well. We might yeah, as well sure. take the ghillie suit. Sure. All Let's right. get these off your hands. I can't even imagine what the chair suit looks like. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like. I I've imagine made, it has I've made like decisions. It has like stuff attached to the back of the sleeves, and it mona like mechanically, when you sit down, everything forms into a chair. So like you're <laughs> sitting down in the shape of a chair, and the suit supports you. I have to imagine it like that. It's crazy. Um, that kind of goes hard. I'm it's not been such lie. a pleasure being with uh, the three of you, and I am extremely inspired. Should you need any help or anything else, please, <laughs> please come back to me. Uh, and do be careful if you do decide to pay a visit to um, Blangus Galarbius, the fortune teller. <laughs> oh, Blangus, what a wonderful name. <gasps> you used the cool. name! Quite the strange one, and I'm so um, happy. but you could That's get an invitation from him, and there, of course, there is Brooks and um, <gasps> possibly other 
ways you could find. I, I wish you the best of luck. Please come back to me, my loves. And she grabs your face, Gillian and Jay, and kisses both cheeks. And then she Whoa. pats Chip on the head, and then she starts to usher mm -hmm. you guys out the door. Oh, hang on. Did you say you also had an invitation, by the way? Uh, she pulls it. it out of, like, her... Um, it's not a corset. Anyway, she pulls it out of her dress and hands it to you mm -hmm. easily. Thank you. That's As three. a favor for a favor, enjoy your... Uh, First and hopefully not your last party at Grimm's Manor, and then the what does that mean? Oh, hey, uh, yeah. Honestly, by by tonight we might only need four, because <laughs> because one of us is dying if Griffin does doesn't like the suit. <laughs> Griffin, um, not like you're still stuck on this, Jay. God. I mean, Chip, go ahead and present him with it. Feel free. Yeah, it's all yours, buddy. Yeah, yeah, he'll get it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's your yeah, best. Yeah, sure. Buddy. Okay, give you me know, the you know give so me the much. Give me that. Go, I'll is... give it to him. Chair. Okay. I'll give it to him. I'll just, I'll do that. I give him what looks like a chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys are heading where to? I want to head back to Griffin, but on the way, I'd like to, I'd like to talk to them. Okay. I'd like, I'm personally very invested in going to Blangus Garbius. I'm really invested okay. in going to Blangus, Blangus Garbius. Uh, she, uh, Matilda called him the fortune teller. Who is at a? I think I called it. I think I described it to you already. Pinky Promise. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we know about Pinky Promise. Both, I'm... both. Uh, Griffin is in Midtown, so is Pinky Promise. Same area. Here we go. Mm. This is uh, around the. Go to around the clock. <laughs> the clock. This is around the clock tower. Uh, <laughs> the clock. Midtown is the clock tower area. All right. We're so, gonna yeah, be guys... around the clock when we try and give him this fucking suit, dude. I think we should go. Uh, go back and check on the ship, maybe before we go to this party or. So Chip, you're you're suggesting to us right now that we just wasted not really wasted that is actually a great time, but after we just spent two hours on the day of this party to to walk another give or take an hour back to the ship and then an hour back mm -hmm. to this town mm -hmm. when we still need mm -hmm. two more invitations. Mm -hmm. Is okay. that what I'm hearing right now? Yes. First off, what's with the tone? We're just talking. We're just people here. Let's relax. Second, yeah. Wait, I, there's like a tension in the air between you two today, and I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can deal with it. <laughs> he flew, for all your listeners, he blew his fucking bangs up. I don't know what it is. It's just Jay it just keeps being I, mean, getting in my eyes so much more than I. It just makes me so angry now. I feel like I'm so much angrier. I don't know if it's because it's black. I can tell. I can tell when it's in my eyes. I'd be now. pretty angry with that much hair in my eyes. But can we all just calm? Can we all just try calming down? We're calm. We're calm. We're calm. Okay. All I'm saying Chip, is that we go back and see Ollie, and maybe I need you to know Alphonse that you and Gillian jumped on stage, rushed me, and beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> Jay, to be fair, um, to be is fair. that it? Is that why you're <laughs> upset with me? Jay, Jay, I wrap my arm around it. Jay, it was for the bit. I, you understand. <laughs> Jay is so impressed. Guilt, right? It was for the bit. It was a really, here's what I'll say. It was a really convincing outfit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and it was funny when we beat you up. God damn it. <laughs> So, so listen, let's just see what Blangus has to say. I think we need a little Blangus and a little Glarby to get us back on track today. That's what we yes, can all agree Yes, with. yes, A little bit of that. And then we go back to the ship and maybe see Griffin, maybe not. Things happen. But most importantly, we go check on our crew because we're captains of a crew. Remember those people? It's we should really get another, another, uh, what are they called? What are the, what are the, the shells the, called? The, 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 the conch. 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 Con conch. Uh, Conch. Conch. Uh, conch. 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 Oh, look at that. We're here. One. Oh, hey. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Yeah. You guys arrive at uh, Pinky Promise, which is a, a, a sort of nestled in between buildings, this tower like cylindrical building um, that is very uh, narrow, is it, but tall um, as it rises up. There's just one wooden door that you guys walk into. It's very dark as soon as you all walk in. The atmosphere changes immediately as the room is filled with this sort of like green fog and purple glows around. And there's just a staircase in front of you that leads up into the circular uh, place. Um, mm. Something's amiss. It's mysterious. Mist mysterious. Mm. Mysterious. It's this like place a doesn't look super blangusy. 
You're very glarby. Stay on your glarb. I mean, go I'm, I'm gonna go. I'll be on my gloves. What? Jay, you watch the rear. Gil, how about you take front? I'll, I'll keep lookout around us. Okay. Okay, Globberlat. <laughs> what? What's <laughs> happening in here? <laughs> Just run with it, Gil. Come on, confidence. Okay, I start sprinting. No, 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 not that much. <laughs> <laughs> I surprise. It's too late. I sprint upstairs into the mist. <laughs> I chase after him. I run. Try to catch him. All right. Uh, you start to sprint up these wooden stairs that uh, there is no wall to like the left if that makes sense so when you're running up you can look mm. down and see through that like sort of uh tunnel as it gets lower or, or further and further away the, the ground floor as you're winding up these steps and eventually you come to a singular door a little bit smaller you have to crouch through but uh there is only one door and this staircase is against the wall of the perimeter of the wall so it's hard for you guys to go uh you have to go one by one and the door itself is a sign that says uh Pinky promise, one at a time. He says one at a time up here. I can try and scout you it gather out. Gather because it is not big enough to fit anyone else. Oh, that's Plus, funny. these are that's private funny. readings. Uh, who wants to go first? Um, well, last time one of these things happened, beneath that, went. a reading is okay. one gold plus a special offer. Uh, well, I already know... Scissors? I rock, already know paper, my scissors. destiny, so you guys can just fight it out. Wait, rock, paper, scissors is kind of lame. What if we call it something else? Cannon, sword, gun. <clears throat> cannon, sword, gun? Okay. So, what? I don't sword, know what... sword, sword, sword cannon. Beats cannon. Gun cannon beats, beats sword. Okay, God. How, does, I, I, how does sword beat cannon? I mean, a cannon don't is like pretty Question big. it. Don't question it. Okay. Gun beats cannon. Uh, cannon beats sword. Uh, sword beats gun. Sword does not beat gun. I think sword like beats ever. gun. Sword beats gun. No, okay, so no, sword it beats doesn't. gun. Well, let's Cannon see. Beats Three, gun. Sword. <laughs> two, one. S sword, gun, sword. cannon. Sword. I Can pulled out cannon. my sword. Cannon. cannon. I did gun, actually. I made I a gun. Cannon. You don't have a gun. I was, you don't this have a gun. I did finger can guns. This is, what? This is can you can do. Can I put my hands up. Can cannon. No, like. This is gun. This is this is for gun. That's not gun. That's hand. Okay, That's so hand. we all beat each other. Okay, I I, I I start beating Chip. <laughs> no, 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 no! Stop. Ow, ow, God! I don't know. Did, did, did you Shh. submit? Do you submit? Shh. Yes, I submit. I submit. I submit. Okay. God. You have now. You have to go in there. Mess it up. You lost what? the game. You lost the game. You lost the sword, and then you got beaten. Go in there. I don't make the rules. <sighs> I walk in. Okay, it seems like such a brutal game. Do humans really play this all the time? Yeah, I guess so. Um, now we do. Yeah, well, if you I ever know... choose cannon, you have to actually shoot him with a <laughs> cannon, okay? <laughs> seems like a lethal game. Uh, Chip, while you're in there, Jay, uh, point, point, you, you point the gun at me. Point it at okay. me. Okay. Okay, shoot. If you aim aim I'm right at in. my head, I'm going to try and cut in. the bullet, and let's see if sword, if gun really beats sword, or if sword right beats gun. Right for your head? Right for your head? Right for my sure. head. This way I know where it's going. I know where I'm it's coming from. I'm not here to stop this. I'm not here to stop this. Here we go. Sure? Sword versus gun. Which one Kill wins? It. I'm trusting Time you. Time to trusting find out, Jay Farron! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the consequences are you dying, and the only, like, only no, thing you get die. out of this is just the satisfaction of having. This is like the cat thing. This is like touching listen, his hand. Listen, I would only deal. This is like touching his hand, and you thought you I was insane it. for that. You get that. it. You get it. You get it. I would only deal nine damage. I actually. rolled a twenty-six to hit the bullet. Do I hit the bullet? That's Dude, really good. That's really good. I guess. I guess. It's against so, your man. head. You're not gonna I, be able to do this so, again. No, no. I'm like, a, I'm solid five feet away. You can't just yeah. start cutting uh, well, bullets. I, I told her to aim at my head, so I know where she's aiming. So I line it up, and I'm gonna, Dude. and I hit the bullet. I'm gonna do. I'm What's, gonna do. So, is she shooting the, the sword? A moving bullet. <laughs> is she shooting the sword or are you hitting the bullet? No, she's shooting me in the head, so I can Dude. cut it in half on the way there. <laughs> the the roll you would have to roll for cutting a bullet in half. I don't even think a nat twenty would do it. It's a twenty six man to hit. It's small, like a like a bug or something, and I can hit a bug with a twenty six. So it makes yeah, sense that it would. Bug involve. doesn't move as fast as a bullet. A bug. Well, I know where it's gonna go, so it's like I already know. So it, so I, I have it. <laughs> We're overthinking this. 
Damn. Killing, you take nine damage. <laughs> no, no, no. I cut it in half. I'm cutting the bullet in half. I hit the bullet. Okay. DM said, the DM said it. Gillian lifts the sword and then he says, I got it, moves it away, and you see the bullet embedded in <laughs> Just his like head. some blood. Just <laughs> blood down coming his down his face. <laughs> I split it into two pieces that hit me immediately in the head. So did this so seriously, did it did it work or no? We'll find out next time <laughs> on Just Roll with It. Just roll with it. <laughs> Dude, I don't I don't know. You can't start cutting bullets in half. It would probably ref deflect. I don't think you could actually slice it. Does it deflect? Yeah, so it ricochets. Yeah! Both can roll deck saves. Sword beats! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, get a, 20, you, get a plus, you get a plus four. Yeah. 24. Uh, I, got a, I got a five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay, uh, how much damage does the bull do? 1d10? Nine. I, well, I rolled it already, so if we want to use that one, but uh, it, it does would be half because it's ricocheted, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, does that make it do more? Ricochet? Surely not. No, you can just roll regular. Okay, here, I'll roll regular again. Um, 14 damage. Oh, this is bullshit! <laughs> you got shot. All right. <laughs> uh, Chip, you're fine. Sorry. It. Oh, Chip, you, I forgot this is happening. You walk into the chamber by yourself, and I it's complete. In. We're allowed to do stupid things sometimes, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's complete explain. darkness. What do you do when you walk in? You can do something if you want. Okay, you don't see yeah. anything as soon as you walk Sorry. in, but the door definitely shuts behind you, and it almost feels like it vanishes. Oh, as okay. it as the door sh like shuts, I just go, "Oh my!" <laughs> and I put on some eyebrows, and I'm ready. I'm getting my game on. I forgot oh, to mention yeah. that uh, with your outfit as well, um, Matilda gave these sort of um. Uh, she would gave she gave you these circular glasses. Coming from the polka dot outfit, oh, that yes. are just red, that are just red shades as well. Yes, um, cool. those are so cool. She offered a uh, a variant to Gillian, which is just dark shades. But I'm I like Matt Murdock. Oh my god, I'm awesome. <laughs> yes, kind of like that. They're a little bit bigger than those, but um, okay. So they fit the uh, they fit the coat. I wear yeah, the dark sunglasses like up on my head, so I can like flip yeah. them down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just I walk could. in with with the uh, the cane, <clears throat> just slowly looking around. I'm walking slow but powerful. There's a confidence to my step. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. An elegance as my legs tap along the floor, almost creating a tune within this room. Would you say there's a large booming echo, or a thin piercing echo when my foot touches the ground? Oh, it's quite the echo. Mm. And as you're foot touches the ground, a few torches, uh, in two half circles, light up a vicinity in front of you, and you see just a, uh, a table uh, draped in this sort of uh, deep wine red uh, tablecloth, and uh, across from it, you only see two eyes, golden in color, in the darkness, the rest of the form shadowed, and they... <laughs> they say out in sort of a whisper. But you don't see their mouth move. Welcome, baby. Hmm. The pinky prom. You're here to get your... palm ready. I continue to walk in and, and look his establishment up and down. Do say it. It's all surrounded by darkness except for this one little... A hmm. uh, table with a seat and a few candles, uh, green in color. The fire, green. The oh. name's Blangus Garbis. Glarbis. <laughs> Sorry. The name's Blangus Glarbis. I feel like we gotta explain. We have to explain. No, that he no not explaining. Okay. All right, all right. Not explaining, right. not explaining. On just rolled with it, maybe. If you want to know why he's named that, we'll get there. I walk in nice. with this cane, still and walking tonight, slowly and elegantly. Go ahead and take a seat, Chip. I walk in and I kind of just kind of tap the chair with the uh, the cane. I'm still looking around. Well, my my, isn't this a grand place you've got for yourself? Hmm. It appears you know my name, but Blangus is quite the interesting one. Oh. My father was. Quite the interesting man. Oh, sure, sure. Well, I believe, as 
The pinky promise. I've come here to make a pinky promise. <laughs> but I do have an interesting pinky myself. Robot pinky. I flick it. I flick it up. <clears throat> and I'm sure you have very many interesting stories and experience. Hmm. A few We tales. have a special offer today. Chip. One grim party manor invitation. If I can do a special kind of re. Doesn't cost any extra gold. Only costs an extra memory. Inside check. I inside. Is this evil? Is this malicious in any kind of way? I want to know. He literally said it costs a memory. <laughs> that sounds pretty suspicious to oh, me. Oh wait, dude. it costs like it would take a memory from That's me. That's what he said, That's man. That's exactly what he just said. Yes. No extra gold, just a memory. Inside check. What does that mean? Just a me just a memory. What? <laughs> like I break the whole accent. What are you talking about? Appear into your mind and learn one of your life stories and. Use it to my advantage to read your fortune. You get a more accurate tell, and I get one of your experiences. You from take my I don't get to keep it like it's gone? Something will replace it. Oh, that's weird, man. I don't know about that. That's mm -hmm. weird. That's cool. Do I get to pick? Is it like a... <clears throat> would I get to pick which memory would be lost <clears throat> to, to me? Hmm. Let me consult my good friend Google.com. Okay, yes. Consult your magics and such. I will be uh, just stepping over to the door for a moment. I have to... Where is the door? Is it, um... Oh, I must have misplaced it. I'm so silly. <laughs> Chip, of course, you'll be allowed to leave as soon as you get your palm read. Um, you are a customer, are you not? Oh, yes, of course. A customer I am. A customer I am. I'm just uh, looking for the doorknob. Um... Yes. <clears throat> hey, Gil, you think he'll remember to get the invitation when he's in there? <sighs> Sorry, what did you say? I just, I was too focused on the burning bullet wound in my side <laughs> from the ricochet, but it should have beaten it. Jay, I had it. I blocked it again. No, okay, listen. Gun beat sword. This is how it is. No, no. One more time. One more time. It's a 50 50. It's Gilly, a 50 You don't want to do this. You don't, no, don't want to do gotta this. We got to get the math down. We have to test it. God Aim damn, at I my heart. My gun. Aim at my heart. <laughs> do I hear them like muffled beyond anywhere? Or yeah, am does I he hear, does he hear gunshots totally? and Gillian screams? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not as soon as you stop That's funny. Oh, all right. Um. That's okay. That's fine. I'm just kind of tapping my cane <laughs> around at stuff. Guys? Yes. Oh. Y yes. Yes. You can choose the memory and you can choose what it replaces. But once mm. I have it in my possession, it will no longer be yours. Oh, fuck. Mm. <laughs> so does it have to be a key memory? It has to be, it has to be like significant. Yeah. Pretty significant. He's looking for an experience. Mm. Okay. Um, I have a particular memory that is one that you can have just for you. And I flick the coin. But you will experience this memory as I have, yes? That is correct. I... As you flick the coin and you sit down, um, put your palms out, right? I kind of like move the coat back and I'm sitting like very straight up. I'm trying so hard to be proper, but I'm like very obviously sweating my ass. So he grabs my palm and I'm like wet with sweat, just like <laughs> uncomfortable as fuck. Oh my God. You, <clears throat> you don't still don't see any of the figure until you flick that coin and sit down and it's hand covered in fur with claws at the end, still humanoid grabs the coin out of the air and then it disappears into the darkness and then those hands the cloths kind of like scrape against um the table and the cloth uh as a, the hands start to emanate this sort of like uh, purplish greenish aura um and your hands are out if you are willing to have this happen you don't have to make the save it's just going to happen but you do need to tell me what memory is being exchanged and what you want it what what what's going to replace it 
So replacing it is the part I think I'm a little unclear about. Um, what does that mean? Basically, you're going to exchange this. You're going to tell him what what memory you want in place of the one you're going to give him. Quickly, just before he goes goes in and does it all. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, hang on. I don't. I don't know about this. Um. So it like takes it away forever. There are limits, but at this level of arcane interference and with your willingness as long as you don't ever fight it it should be uh, in my possession for as long as uh, as long as your lifetime baby and you're the only one who's gonna know and see it and I'm just you know, I guess it doesn't really matter but I won't That's have what it. I'll I want. Just... I want to be able to have this almost like a movie. My own little collection. You like collection things, as the uh, uh, hands sort of like tap in a in a line uh, on the on the table, giving that sound. Tap 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 tap. tap. Okay. Okay. Perhaps one of your friends will exchange a memory for the no, invitation. No, no. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's here. I put out my palms. Right. So, in this moment, the, like I described, the claws hit each of your fingertips, and you can feel uh, this magic sort of enter through the fingertips and up into your body, and your neck your head jolts back and, and tilts upwards and your eyes glow this bright green color as what seems to look like uh, an opening of the cranium and then this sort of a uh, spiral of golden uh, uh, like etherealness uh, almost like a web of collection of thoughts and memories and you can see these but then all of a sudden as you see them your eyes just go completely dark and you can hear um I keep forgetting his name because I didn't name him. Blang is moving around at this point and uh, uh, getting closer to one of your ears and you feel the breath, but you don't see anything. And uh, he says, huh, I see. That is quite the entire agonizing memory. And um, he starts to uh, pluck it. It's almost like... Your life does a rewind from this exact point in time all the way back to where this memory takes place. You're a few months, maybe a few years younger at this point. Just before you set off on the Big Chipper. Your final day and night on Skull Slice Port, where you grew up after the events of the Hole in the Sea. And this memory, this day, begins mid-afternoon in a darkened, abandoned warehouse on the edge of the port, the edge of town. Behind you, the gang you ran with, and next to you, Captain Price, who was just Reuben at that time, and hanging the wrists chained uh, by, by cuffs, by these metal cufflinks, hanging by a chain on the top of the warehouse, about six or four or so feet off the ground. His skin lacerated and, and lashed and cut and bruised. Just a, a man, a man that had no other significance other than some sort of disrespect or disloyalty, or betrayal against the gang. Kept them, or Reuben. Hands you a curved sword. And he says, All right, little brother, finish him. Like one of us. We all draw first blood one day or another, and this is where you become a man. Growing up from a boy, we must show and make an example of those who don't stay loyal to the gang, to the family. To the family? That's right. 
We're family. And I, and I, and this is the only way? <laughs> this is the only way. He, he doesn't even, he's beat, right? I, we don't have to. He almost ruined us, Chip. He deserves his death. And as one as one of us, you'll deliver it. Come on, you trust me, right? You trust me? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. This will change yeah. you. This will make you who you're supposed to be. We all do it. You have to leave this care and compassion behind in a world that doesn't give a shit about you. And you cut anyone who tries to damage you. And this will stop that? This will change me? This takes all the pain away. You take his life, and it covers it all up. Isn't that right? And he uh, yells out to the rest of the gang, and they go, whoo! Do this kind of like chant. Mm -hmm. Y'all wearing, all wearing um, bits of leather. He's of course, you know, shirtless and already tatted. Chip very shakily stepping forward, obviously trembling. You just see for a moment standing in front of him. Um, takes the sword in both hands. And pushes it right through the chest. And it pierces like cutting a cake. And the man who pretty much still nameless at this point to you just lets out a breath <sighs> and there's nothing there's no name there's no final wish there's no he's beaten too weak to speak his life is gone and for you you're paralyzed by the action though everyone around you celebrates what you've done. Hoisting, hoisting you up into the air and cheering and chanting your name and it feels wrong. Because these people say and treat you like one of their own and seem to care, yet what you've done you know is not what you should have. And the memory continues as you head back to the essentially the headquarters of this gang, this home, this base, and night falls after a celebratory uh, night of, of, of rambunctiousness and stealing and, and, and all kinds of just absolute delinquency. Uh, you all return, drink yourselves to sleep, except for you, Chip. For this would be the night that right before you leave, gathering lanterns and torches and a barrel of gunpowder you set this entire um abandoned home ablaze and without staying behind to hear who survives it you run far away from the gang stealing uh, one sail ship small boat and sailing off under the moon away from this gang you spent upwards to 10 years with and away from the actions that would weigh heavy on you for the foreseeable future and as that memory stops there it disconnects almost like a hair being pulled from your head. And what do you replace it with? As he begins to whisper into your ear the actual events of that day. He says it to you, and as he says the things that happen, like he's telling a story, it's your memory now. Word for word, it becomes... I just want to replace it a day of complete insignificance. Maybe fishing off of this boat. 
whole day spent fishing on the lake <laughs> shipper. <laughs> it's peaceful and calm. Like, must really like fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Replace all your memories with it. And your eyes reopen to the surrounding area as those hands holding some sort of like arcane orb of energy in its hand and then tucks it away into the darkness all that's left are the two eyes and he says he slides that that the parchment letter across the table the invitation is yours would you like a fortune now <sighs> you've already been <gasps> Whoa, that's weird. It's like you're tickling my brain. What did you even take? You are blissfully in ignorance. Huh. You are, I can tell, just by your eyes, a haunted one, Chip. And your fortune, despite that, is full of gold. And uh, other than that, he sort of, uh, the eyes disappear into the darkness and you are free. You can feel the area, uh, which was kind of like magically almost uh, uh, protected. So that way you can hear uh, outside or inside. You can, you now know where the door is and you can leave. Okay, Gil, it didn't work the other 14 <laughs> times. All right, it's fine. We moved on to the cannon. Go ahead and light it. I can take it. This one for sure. This right. one makes sense. Are you sense. sure about the this one? The bullet Chip. was just too small, but a cannonball, I should be able to easily see and slice through. I Go ahead. Out for it, like very slowly and, and <laughs> confidently. And I hold up the letter between my two fingers. <clears throat> and you see the, the fuse of a cannon uh, slowly burning down. <laughs> you see, you see Gilligan's in. sword raised up, ready to cut the cannonball in Guys, half. Guys, yeah, I mean, it would be like, the, she'd be like on the lower part of the stairs, kind of curved. It's really skinny, bro. This isn't really safe. You we, could fall and we die. We have a lot of time, okay? So we got a cannon in here. <laughs> I have Eldritch Cannon. It's, For you it's guys, a real it was thing. maybe like no, 60 seconds, by the way. I mean, it, was, it wasn't that long. That's oh, probably oh, all oh. it took for this to escalate. Yeah, yeah for sure. just letting you know. <laughs> I'm holding this this letter in my hand as well. Piece of cake. Nice. All right. <gasps> you, uh, do you want to also get your fortune read or anything, Jay? You know, I think I'll pass. I like keeping these things a surprise. Cool. Oh, oh hey, look. The fuse is almost... Oh! <laughs> Gillian, would you like your fortune read? Hey, it's only one gold. Oh, it's only one gold. It could be fun. It's only one gold? Oh. It's only one gold. Well, I was told my future is full of gold. Oh, so that's good. What is with the accent? I, I flip the coin to Gillian. <laughs> on me, changed. my boy. Oh, I'm doing okay. a thing. I don't know. I kind of like it. All right. Wish me luck. Let's go see what's up. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, yeah, sure. I'll go in there. Oh, cool. Red. Hello. Same, same thing, except this time the candles illuminate blue flames as you walk in. And oh, cool. whoosh, everything disappears. You kind of feel the presence of the door leave behind you. Oh. Uh, and uh, running in. Uh, same kind of man. You meet Blangus? <laughs> so Hi, is that Blangus. his name? I keep fucking forgetting, Hi, Blangus. bro. Blangus. Blangus. Yeah, Blangus. Blangus. Gillian Tide Strider, champion of the undersea, hero of the deep. Finally, <laughs> someone around here gets it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Blankus, it is so good to finally meet someone that actually knows who I am. I've been trying to spread the word, and I'm glad it's paying off. It's uh, getting rather difficult to not recognize the one, the walking fish, moisture master, <laughs> singer-songwriter of the Kaelian oh, in the God, time Don't, don't stop, don't, don't stop, please. please Paramount don't. champion, okay. defenestrator of the adulterous, weed eater, okay. Peter of Ass, Are you reading? Grass, Do you have this written down on your arm? Are you reading off your arm right now? Slayer of evil, <laughs> horse tamer, fish, drip lord, fishy, Grand Million, Grandma's Good Boy, like Dugon's Best Friend, Rescue of John, Knight wow, of Julian, a, and the there's one a, who will change the world. The one who will change the world. The one who of Adulteress? Yeah, no, he, he got yeah. them. Okay, yeah, that's good. Though okay, I may be uh, giving your fortune too soon, <laughs> if you would like, it's one gold to get your palms red here at Pinky Promise. 
by the great Blankus Globius. Yeah, Blank anything for you, Blankus Globius. After all that, you got them all right. I would be honored. Uh, I'm gonna give him, uh, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give him extra, I'm gonna give him like five, I actually don't have any money, I'm gonna give him one gold. <laughs> <laughs> and so you probably took one gold from him. Yeah. yeah, well, no, I have the one gold that Chip gave me, that's all the money I have. Okay. Here, Blankus, all of my riches for you. Usually, I don't uh, offer it twice in one day, as it does take quite a bit out of me, but, um, for an extra fee of charge... I do have um, a bit of a, a business to in, in replacing your mental memories. Oh, my memories. Replacing my memories. Um, but we can just do the general... Um, no, that just feels like... So, I'm Honestly, Blangus, that just feels kind of... Weird and almost, dare I say, evil to replace a, a memory or something. Don't worry, Hero of the Deep, it's consensual. And he puts his, uh, you see the, um, the furry hand sort of, like, come out of the darkness here. The claws hit. If, if you're willing to hear palms. Yeah, touch. no, absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> okay. Uh, in that case, all of the... One step at a time, Blankies. Claws hit the fingertips, and you can feel that sort of, uh, magical connection. Though nothing is quite, like, malicious. You just kind of feel that there is some sort of yeah. connection there. And then he releases. He says, Gillian Tidestrider. It is... How bad we talking? Your destiny. Oh. No one's ever said it to me. To cause a crack. A great divergence. A split. One or the other. Or one in the same. You will separate or combine. Separate or combine. <laughs> Killian like pulls out a fucking notebook. <laughs> uh, Your future or combine. is full of great success. Oh! Well, that, whew, that's good. Not that I was. I was a little worried. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, thank you, Blangus. This is taking this is taking a little weight off me. You said come you... back if you'd like me to pry any deeper. Oh, thank you, Great Globby. I'm trying to think if there's anything, any memory I'd want replaced. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll walk out. Um, I'm I'm trying to think what would be a funny a fucking funny one to replace. Um. Oh, well, you're out. You said it. You walked out. Um, <laughs> Gillian wait, comes like, up, Ponder. <laughs> it's like 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah, I walk out. I walk out. You basically mm. got, you got the sense that he he can do it daily. Okay. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Without, mm. without spending too much energy. Oh, well, shit. You know, if everybody else is doing it, I should do it too. No, Jay, <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of cool. Also, this guy says that he can erase and change your memories or something. Oh, what? Yeah. How do you think I got this? I mean, how do you think I got this? You had your what a memory this? erased? Did you have your memory of how you spoke erased and mm. the in, of accent given to you? He did how take did... a memory from me, yes. Yes, he did. Was it important? I mean, like... I, mean, I, I have absolutely I? no What's idea. My name? <laughs> you wouldn't even know. <laughs> you are a stinky, dumbass woman. Okay. This is what I remember okay, your name is. He the, hasn't what forgotten. The he is the exact same. Yeah, he is. I think he's just, like, using this... <laughs> Oh, I don't know. He just took a memory. I'm sure it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, well, he didn't take your stink. For the, yeah, for the most <laughs> part. <laughs> older. Damn, uh, Gil. Chip looks just, he's acting the same. Sorry, it's the black yeah. hair. Uh, I mean, yeah. walk up through the door. Okay. Yeah, and why not? Get my fortune red. Is it like a wig? Does <laughs> it come off? I start pulling his hair. No. And okay. and uh, we, can, we just want to clarify, you are in your original outfit that you described, the sort of um, the, the shorter dress. Yeah, actually, I would probably change it so it had like the puffier. The what was how did you describe the dress? Where it was like so, out. like a ballroom gown with like it, yeah. basically you have that wireframe that creates those exaggerated yeah, yeah. hips. Yeah, so uh, it's yeah, it's that's... a wireframe and it still has it would it's still have the uh, the petticoat underneath it that's kind of like ruffled up. Um, so there's like more layers to it underneath the dress. 
and I'd also add the black roses as well. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah, I like, the, the, I like the merge. I like the merge. Can I have black roses on my thing? I'm sorry. That's awesome. I didn't think of that. That's really I can cool. Have, like one black rose on the on the yeah side of the the, the, yeah. of the, the red mm -hmm. telco. Give me that yeah, shit. On the, um, on, the, on the side where the cape isn't covering the shoulder. That goes that crazy. Said, I, I think I'm going to keep the opal instead of the uh, the green gem. Yeah. Because I like the, color, the opal color. Googling opal. I don't know what this is. This isn't a color. <laughs> this doesn't look right. What do I call this? This isn't, isn't, this isn't No, no. Because, like, I don't know what I would call that. That's what I got when I searched opal. This is a lot of colors at once. It's opal. It's opal color. That's not opal, opal color. That's not opal. That's not. There's no. Oh my god, guys, look up. Did it's you like, see? Have you seen opals of the world? What the opal. fuck? I didn't fuck realize that colors opal. were so confusing to Bizley to be honest. Opal. Though. Actually, no, you can no, you fuckers. Blue opal that you posted. That's. Brazilian this is opal. all opal. This all of these. I'm sorry for all of you audio <laughs> listeners and yeah, maybe other honest. people who have no idea what I'm talking about, but. Maybe I can put it on for the video. Nope, that's just a fucking zoom in of my well, nose. Well, an opalescent blue is what I meant. There's a lot of opals in this world. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all, dude, that's all of them. That's all the opals. There's the so world. many opals. Wait, no, that's she doesn't have one chair. Never mind. Whatever. I like them. Later. Um, so <laughs> you walk in and the candles illuminate uh, uh, the like a like a, like a fiery orange red color. Wow. And it's the, the same thing. Oh, so like a candle. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it's like a deeper red. It's a deeper red. It's definitely off color from you know a normal flame. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you've seen red candles. And I'm like, oh, that's that's a cool flame. It's not like a fucking fiery. It's not a fiery red. It's an. Shut up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's different. Okay, it's well, magic. It just doesn't have to be. You know. What I mean? Did my fire glow brown? No, it's like green. <laughs> That would have been really funny if it brown, fire. So brown funny. fire is the most like lame shit ever. That like sucks. Anyways, bro. you walk in, same thing, you meet <laughs> fucking Blangus Galarbius. <laughs> oh, the glorious Blangus, Blangus Gar Garbius. Garbius, my I believe, right? That's, uh, that's just the name? eyes in the shadow, everything else is covered in silhouette. I've heard so much about you. And by that I mean I've heard a few things about you, I guess. Welcome. I was expecting you, Jay. Really? Because, like, up until five seconds ago, I wasn't actually sure if I'd come in. <laughs> I knew you'd come in. Though I do know most things. Yeah, I mean, I figure everybody else did it, so I might as well do it too, you know? Just a little, little fortune reading. What do you do? Do you, like, read my mind? Or, like, um, or, like, maybe look uh, at the stars or something? I not disclose my secrets, but... I am offering today specially, uh, in twice in one day, for that matter. A, uh, he explains the modified memory thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Gillian and told me about that, yeah. Um, I only I did it uh, for free once, but it will cost more as it takes a lot of energy. I think I'll pass on the memory thing. Um, How fortunate it is. Sit down, baby. I take a seat, yeah. Claws at your fingertips. Ooh. And you feel that connection in Arcane. And it feels really hot, like a fire for you. It sort of burns into your, your fingertips a bit. And uh, there's almost like this jolting or, or, or jagged motion with the uh, uh, the connection. Um, so it's it's jagged. It's, it's almost... It's very unstable, in a way. Um... Mm -hmm. But he keeps it, and after a few moments, uh, the connection breaks, and he says, There is good and bad fortune in your future. Whether or not you are able to bear certain pains will be up to how much you grow in the time that comes. And if you can, overcome such pain you may be the strongest woman alive I wish you luck Jay Farron for there is always the brightest sun after the darkest days Jay just remains silent for a second definitely not expecting to hear that after <laughs> what they came out with 
put my I put my gold on on the table. I didn't do that. Uh, he just <laughs> did that before I even did it. I'm too he honest. I can't pay. do this. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> he knew. God, he's good. <laughs> um, and I, oh, I well, stand up fair. and just say th thank you. Um, and walk out. Hmm? Yeah, and and look a little. One. I look a little like off put when I walk out. <laughs> See, look, try and I'm cut it in half when I shoot it at you. I thought I was hey. pulling your hair. Are we doing that bit? Um, I don't know. I pulled the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Kill I'm not gonna cut it! No, you're not. So, because cannon leads sword, and I shoot ship with a cannon. I get shot with a cannon. <laughs> That's cannon. <laughs> you just wanted to say it. You just wanted nah, to say it. <laughs> That makes uh, three invitations total now. We need Wait, four. five. No, we have four. Yeah. We have four. We need one more. Wait. We need the one we got, from... We stole Wait. one. We got one from mm -hmm. the lady in the inn. We got mm -hmm. one from Fashion Show, and yep. we got one just now. Yes, we have four. It's four. Why do you need five? I don't know. Uh, because we need one for Buddy. Wait, why do we uh, need Griffin. five? Griffin. There's only three, three of us. Wait, wait. Oh, we got all our... We got all the invitations. Holy shit, we're bad at math. <laughs> I thought I thought we might need one for Apple. Why did you? Oh, that's true. We do. You, you, you. No, Gil, we don't need an invitation for the bird. So that's it. We don't need any more. Or what we think is a bird. You guys start walking not. down the steps. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we need to give Griffin his. Oh God, shit. <laughs> oh, no, no, we can go to the. We can go to the ship first. We can go there. How far away is the ship? Like, how far of a walk was it to get here? It'll be if it'll be uh, over an hour just to get from because you're at the very top of uh, uh. you're back in Midtown, so yeah, a bit of an hour because you have to walk outside of the city as well on that path in the dark forest. Um, it would take a bit. You don't know how much time has passed because it's been nighttime the entire oh, time. Oh, you're fucking right. Oh, you're so right. Yeah. Oh, we don't have shit. a way to tell time. We don't time. even know when evening is. Should we just roll up to this guy's place? You don't even well, know what time you woke up. Griffin. I don't even know what time I woke up. I don't even know how old I am. Oh, I hope the murder hasn't happened yet. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do murder party mystery be... parties work like that? Yeah, I think. Well, Do you I think I'll get wouldn't... murdered? They wouldn't just Wait, kill shit, you after you, get you murdered? showed up, right? This feels like somebody a weird way to solve a murder, by the way, with a party. Oh. I wonder if somebody gets, like, given the killer role. Like, what if I had to kill Chip? You couldn't. That was that would be awesome. You couldn't do it. Hey, gun beat sword. Gun beat sword. Too bad you I got your gun. Sleight of hand. I, I want to take her gun. I want to. I want to have taken her gun. Sleight of hand. I roll sleight of hand. I roll sleight of hand. I roll sleight of hand. Okay, I do we're, it. we're, we're, we're insane. It. What is he I'm doing? It. Twelve. I got a twelve. I didn't get it. I'm getting get it. What am I? What am I going against this with? I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter. This isn't really. This isn't a thing okay. that he has to worry about. This is just us. Okay, I shoot him. <laughs> Dude, As I try and pull it away from you, and the the, <laughs> the, the, the fucking trigger pulls, and I get shot. <laughs> you, you pull oh, no, it's really shit. funny. That's you pull shit. the trigger. Holy shit. Too bad I got your gun, and it fucking shoots Gillian. <laughs> oh, I got your bullet. <laughs> okay, we don't know what time it is. It's they said the party was at night, and I look it up. It is night. I look up. We're late. <laughs> Hasn't it been night the whole time? Yes! We're missing it! Uh, I'm gonna start running in the direction that I believe the party is. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing the same. Oh, wait, we need to go get, we need to go get, uh, fuck. Griffin will meet us Griffin. there. Oh, he will? Surely. Wait, why, when was that communicated? <laughs> no, not at all, but okay, he's we're going to get Griffin. We go, he's we, a punctual person. We gotta go to Griffin, we go to Griffin. <laughs> we go to Griffin. Y do you know where he went? No. 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 Shit. We go to the party. <laughs> Wait. Fuck. Did he say where he went? He did. No. He tried multiple times. You'll watch oh, him back oh, in the episode. Oh, he said he'd go. Oh shit. Where did he say? He is definitely near the. No. He's. Is he? Is he? The he okay, guys. The, no, let's take, the let's take an there. educated guess here. Did he go to the gentleman's club or did he go to the bar? Uh, Neither. Uh, you check uh, both shit. places and you waste time. Neither. <laughs> you do say Ray again. She says hello. Oh, she's so lovely. Where's, she's where's, lovely. where's Griffin? Has he passed through here? I have not seen the large man named Griffin. Shit! 
shit. Um, which is he's in? Is he in Moonbeast Manor? Check back in uh, Midtown, Moonbeast Manor. Nope. Fuck. All right. Okay, we're he's late. gotta, we gotta the go. Party. We gotta go. Here we go. To the party. <laughs> I'm sorry, Griffin. <laughs> you, you definitely spent at least an hour looking for him. No, because <laughs> you're having to go down to downtown and then midtown. Uh, you walk back up to uh, uptown, uh, <laughs> and you would see <clears throat> Griffin. <laughs> no, you don't see him yet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as you're making your way up to the peak of this island where the manor sits, you're able to see it once you were uh, exiting. The back end, uh, you know, the highest point of the city and uptown, the the exit here, uh, the walls lead out into a more cobblestone path that then uh, leads into a, a an arched bridge that kind of connects the uh, big the portion of where the city is built on to the one more um, layered or cliff like uh, landmass that the manor sits on, where it kind of like overlooks and looks out into uh, uh the whole city it's at the very very top high up looks out into the city much taller than the clock tower so it is a bit of a walk there and at this time as you guys are rushing around through the city and out there are people who are are making their way towards the manor as well um some are mostly uh, uh, not unique in how they are they look they're all kind of dressed in similar fashions though the way you guys look definitely stands out uh in a in a, in a good way for for Jay and, okay, and Chip, okay. and in a different way. For Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean in a good way? Right? <laughs> said in a good way. But your colors match everything, Gillian. So you're That's still That's good. Blending okay, it. I think I got it. I don't know if we're gonna find this guy. Griffin? Yeah, I don't. I yeah. Where I is he? What he? I forget where he told us he would be. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, hey, he said it in a really gruff voice. I don't think I understood it. I can understand him like thirty percent of the time. Yeah. Okay. I've got an idea, you. all right? We don't have to get Gil in on it. We can just do it Chip and Jay style. What does that mean? Okay, well, I just don't think he can pull it off. Okay, I, what's the point? I've come up with a new one. It's called, uh -huh. it's called, I'm better than you. Okay. And so, what is it? So, pretty much, you and me put on the British accents, and we just act like we're better than everyone else. But secretly, we steal their stuff. We keep them distracted with tales of grand, expensive ventures. And then I sneak up and take their watch. <laughs> right? We call it I'm okay. better than you. Okay. I think I it's mean, a good one. But we have to be British. We have to be British? How do we do a British vote? It's like... Oh, uh, oh, teas and crumpet. Sure. Oh. It's, it's like... It's like that. Oh, I'm late like for my tea date with the queen. With the crumpet man. Ooh. Are you sick? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? The Brit there, is, there is no such thing as British people in this campaign. Beans and beans and beans. Okay, what was, I grab them we... on the shoulders. I grab them on the shoulders. By the way, Jay, there's no in, such thing as British people. You are in you are in the island equivalent of old UK London, and they're all called Noctians. Okay. Then we just replace us ever saying British with Noctian. So, you're Noctish. That's, yeah, <laughs> Noctish. <laughs> All right. Just speak with a Noctish okay. accent, like this. Like, like this. Oh. Oh, I'm so much better oh, than dearie. you. Oh, I, I need to. Um, what did these people do? Yeah, what do rich second. people do? It's like a rich people thing. Um. No, I got this. I, I need to like have a, a bidet a and have water squirt up my bum. I, I walk up to awesome. our, our what? <laughs> what? 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 It's like I saw a weird, I saw a weird toilet. Uh, like it's just like you a guys, hole with water squirted up. Wait, you guys don't have bidets up here? It said bidet. No. What do you do use? Of course. What toilet paper? Toilet paper? Well, it's just like leaves, really. But they just what we've been calling leaves. It. Pretty much. And you just what? You just rub it? You just wipe it. You just wipe all the shit. You wipe shit the stuff off. Yeah. Over around. Well, yeah. Well, they have and wet hardly, ones. It hardly cleans have, any of it. They have wet leaves you can use. You might as well just be spreading. Well, if they're wet already, you might as well just cut out the middleman. So you have those down there. It's Everything. all water. How does it squirt? Ninety percent of the undersea is just one big bidet. Haunting, Gil. <laughs> <Wow>. Haunting. <laughs> you guys head up. 
and eventually you make it to uh, the entrance to the manor. And at the gate here, there you would see that there are like these um, very tall, pointy, almost arrow-like black metal gates. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, the entrance of it is actually opened up. You can see that it is. there's a large G emblem where it splits to open up the gates themselves. And there is this more brick-like uh, path that leads into the very massive, I want to say, front courtyard. It's just the front area where you see there is a large pool in the front yard here, Ooh. surrounded by brick and concrete, and it is blood red liquid with a, a, a sort of ornate fountain in the middle of it um there are people in sort of like onesie like black leather mm -hmm. and uh, other sort of s velvet silk material it's not it's it's like it's waterproof anyways there are people in the pool yeah um i uh i um, i want to approach one of the people not in the pool i don't want to get in the pool um one of the ladies I in particular the okay yes, yes, yes. Oh, um, it's thick, i go dude. it's thicker than water they really did something to this water <laughs> <laughs> I, I walk up to one of the one of the women who are probably one who's like alone. I walk up with you. Okay. Okay. Before that, did you just drink the pool water? I I dove in I and I said, to... "How'd they get it this thick?" I wanted to taste it, but I knew he'd just go jump in it anyway. So I'd this let is him a Gillian it. thing. Make a con save, Gillian. <laughs> <laughs> the water. For breathing in blood. Eleven. And not too many people have the goal. <laughs> okay. Good to know. The goal. Why? <laughs> Why is that good to know? Oh. Now, Jay, what were you doing? Oh, fuck. Excuse me, madame. Are you going to Grimm's party? The murder Ooh. mystery one. She swims into the edge. Oh, you look marvelous. Um, there, Thank we, you're you. already in the party. It's out in the front yard. The the ball oh. is supposed to start in about an hour or, or, or less, and then we do the party, the murder mystery oh, party. Though, the only of a select few might stay for that. Good to see you. Are you a new face? I haven't seen you oh. before. <laughs> yes. I'm, I've, see, I've been around the world exploring. Wouldn't oh, you like to take a swim my... with us? Oh, perhaps in a little bit. Oh, I just don't want to dirty this brand new dress. See, I'm drowning. I see you already. I'm you already came I'm in. I'm drowning. I'm sinking in. <laughs> I'm sinking in. You already know how came in, in your, your best garbs for swimming in in the fountain. I see. Well, there are dressing rooms on the sides of the pool. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. oh, darling, who is this you're speaking to? Yes. Oh yes, this is. Uh, oh, sorry. What was your name, love? Da, 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 da. She looks up at you guys. She has like um, the hair looks really bright red at the moment, or, or sorry, like it matches the pool color. Uh, you can't tell if it's black hair with the water going through it or what, but it has it's <laughs> like a blood red sort of look. Uh -huh. um, it's swept all the way back, very long. Um, and face kind of reminds you of as, as Lana, weirdly enough, with mm -hmm. uh, the sort of like uh, daintiness, I want to say. Um, a blood mermaid. She, <laughs> and she looks up she says eh, the name is anastasia anastasia oh anastasia i grab her her arm and i in like both my arms and like kind of cup it you, i i must say you are positively lovely my dear guys help help <laughs> <I'm thinking. laughs> and i want to i want to rest my my hand on her shoulder Truly marvelous this dress is. And I want to sneak in and like sneak my hand in and take her one person. Alright, 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 One thing, one thing first, one thing first, one thing first. One thing first, one thing first, one thing first. Go ahead and roll your sleight of hand. Yeah. Jay, you need to make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. I do say. I don't think you're next. I don't think you're next to Gillian. Do you get the plus? He's in the water. I'm how in far the water is it? I'm drowning. <laughs> I'm literally okay, okay. drowning. You, you can decide how long, I'll how say, far I'll away say. this lady is. I actually don't even think it even matters. Um, yeah, yeah 19, I'm by the way. 19. Let me roll against. Okay, yeah. You successfully pull off some jewelry that is around the wrist, mm. but she's so infatuated with Jay, and Jay, you feel charmed. God damn it, again. As your eyes kind of glow with <laughs> this, uh, like, this uh, little bit of red, and she starts to pull you into the water, in dress and all. Um, well, I do. I, I, if you insist. No, 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 Jay, it's too big. 
It's My dear, you understand? We, we've got to be off uh, and tell others of our many exploits. You, If you're trying to pull Jay from being I pulled be. into the water, she's she's almost, she's pretty much like, her, she's her, she's close to the water, pretty much. Uh, I want to pull It's going to be a contested strength. The strength. What? Yeah, okay. Fuck. 11? Ugh. You fail, and, uh, or you fail in the contest, to roll a 13. And... You're getting pulled you into the water. Chip, let go of me. What the uh, locked boy. eyes with <laughs> Anastasia here. Gillian, you would notice this. And they start to not only drift away from you guys, but drift underneath the pool. <laughs> Jay, come back. <laughs> Jay, come back. You're not good and to you swim. Are so, it's not you're good. so into it, Jay. And she begins to get closer to your face. Uh, with oh, this is just <laughs> on your cheek and then on your neck, and um, and you're underneath the water. Go ahead and make a con save. Right I want to awesome. Does 16 con save? No, yeah, I so do this say, is vampire I mean, shit, isn't a bit it? Bit of a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um. Oh, this is vampire shit. Oh no, it's always night because they're vampires. Oh no! <laughs> and that's where we're ending the session. <laughs> give me one second, give me one second, dude. <laughs> stop, stop jumping the fucking gun. What did I say? <laughs> Drinking the pool of blood? So does a 24 hit your armor class? It does! What? I should have known. Oh. <laughs> Let us rob the rich people. What the fuck? Now they're you vampires. Did. You did rob. You did rob. You have yeah, the Yeah, but they took wrist. my friend. <laughs> Underneath the water, Jay, you can feel uh, Dude, mostly but... this, this seductive nature, and then you feel the teeth sink into your neck. But nobody but took it me. It doesn't hurt. There is nope. there is no there is no uh, uh, damage initially. What haircut, was your con bro. save? Sixteen. Nobody wants ship for real. <laughs> <laughs> what the hey, fuck? Um, Make me hey, a vampire. I'm stacking bitches over here. You, Jay just, Jay just, all Jay know is steal my women. <laughs> Pissed off about it, by the way. <laughs> you wanna, uh -oh. you wanna become a vampire instead? Sure, man. Get in here. <laughs> no, I don't. Get in I don't want to jump. I'm in, I'm in the water. Oh wait, you drifted I, away from Gillian. I, don't, I was gonna say. Do I, I don't want. Bonus? I don't want to jump in. I want to you be did, dragged no, in. Away. You know, I want someone to want okay. me in there. You know, it's different. It's not the same. <laughs> I want you in here. I'm literally sick of. Okay, I want to jump after Gillian because, like, so you take you only take uh, six points of necrotic damage. Okay. And but, however, don't and mark but. the damage because you feel not only does it not hurt, but within this pool, it heals immediately. Oh. And she lifts you up from the water, and you are still charmed, but she uh, lets you go after giving sort of like this um, romantic gesture with a kiss on the cheek and starts to drift away. And you're just sitting there like mesmerized by this action in the water, like floating on your back. Gillian and Chip, what can do you guys I, do? Can I try and use shape water to like move it out of the way? Does it do anything? I mean... Is it water? No. <laughs> Don't worry, Chip. I can simply shape the water. I just start sweating. <laughs> but it doesn't work. <laughs> no, it's, oh, it's no. not. It's not water. So oh, I don't know if it, no, 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 it matters no. if it contains if it contains water. But <laughs> no, it has to be water. <laughs> okay, then no, you can't. Oh God. <laughs> anyway, so that was that was a trip. And uh, as you lay there, here in the pool, what are you guys doing? I mean, Chip, you rush up to Jay. Um, Jay's I kind of floating now. I kind of after Jay yeah. gets pulled in. Oh my god! What? Oh, what? The well, fuck? because you're because you're charmed. It was it was nice. Like it didn't hurt. Like it was something. I go. Um, hang on a minute. Chip. I I pull. Anastasia was smooth. I pull up a mirror and I'd like to look in the mirror at everyone else. <laughs> I have you a mirror. Have a mirror? I do, I do, that I do. Lady, it's in my that lady, really? Yeah. That lady bit me, and I think I was into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, jump. Jay. <laughs> um, it was really up. nice. You look. You both. Killian stops drowning and just <laughs> looks at her. <laughs> <laughs> roll a roll a roll, roll a perception check with the uh, while looking through the mirror. Because there's a lot of people. People. I mean, 19. there's a lot of people in the mirror. Nineteen with a nineteen. I mean, you would immediately notice that the person floating away from Jay isn't in the mirror, but like that's it. Everyone else is still in the mirror. Oh. That you could that you notice. Yeah, anyways. we stole from a van. Is Jay in the mirror? Yes, Jay is okay. in the mirror. Thing is, I don't know. Is Gillian in the mirror? Is Gillian? 
Gillian? Gillian is in, in the mirror right now, yes. <laughs> is? Is? Yeah, you're in the mirror. You're in the mirror. Okay. I'm fucking okay, with okay. you. I'm fucking okay. with you. Okay. Jesus Christ, okay. you haven't even made it into the mansion. Um, <sighs> love this shit, bro. It's oh, so oh, you're, you're so silly, Jay. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't know, Chip. It's just like oh, this, she like ensnared me and a, she pulled me under damsel. the blood. Are you for real right now? Like we're in the middle yeah. of something. She, look, she, oh, she like bit me such and it was a silly, kind of silly us. gal. Are you fucking serious right now? Get out. Where's Gillian? <laughs> you were just with <laughs> Gillian. Gillian is just like a single hand like falling oh, below. God the damn it! I like I I pull like Jay towards the edge. Yeah, Gillian and I is go over, I grab I grab Gillian out and I go to pull him out. Come on, you fucking fish. Hey, no need to be so mean. Oh, Come sorry. On. I'm just retrieving my fish from the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Come along now. Oh, my God. Come along. Yeah. Come along now. Um, He's a heavy motherfucker, too. So well, you pull them both out. Jay, this charm lasts indefinitely, as far as you know. All, well, all you feel, you... I'd say that... You, I don't think you know that you're charmed, but you do regard that... Anastasia as a trusted friend to be heeded and protected. Okay. Um, yeah, it works. Um, so I'm still charmed then, is what you're saying right now. Oh, yeah. Even though she bit me? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's how it works with this specific situation as a vampire. Yeah. Are they covered in blood now? Yes. You it kind of fits, the, the, it kinda fits the vibe, though. It does fit the me. vibe, and it will dry, and it will just fit it even more. I'm just like my head's like fully down. You know, I just have like yeah. the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, across Gillian, your chest. We you can taste it earlier, sinner, but it's it was, red now. It was it was it was thick, irony, gross, kind of bitter. Got my um, gills. That's so, so you guys walk around this large yeah. pool, and there are these like warm lights and lanterns that hang around the area in the vicinity, like lamps as well. They give this place this warm glow mixed with this uh, mixed with this kind of like dark red ish hue as well as it bounces off the red brick, dark red brick of the exterior of this uh, three story mansion with a uh, uh, large, um, large and uh, like like deep dark wooden doors that are already open with this uh, uh, beautiful black floor interior that it has like like golden ceilings and golden uh, decoration and, and sort of like trim on the on the walls and and whatnot with like mirrors on the side and you seem to be walking into directly to this ballroom um but before you walk in before you have present your in, in uh, like invitations and etc at the entrance past the pool you do see chatting with this small little well-dressed kenku bird griffin Dressed Damn in how he was before. <laughs> Griffin. <laughs> you mean it. Griffin. Yeah, Chip picked out your outfit for you. Good. I need my clothes and an invitation. Oh, so oh yes, going. of course. Griffin, hello. Um, well, here's your invitation. Like Jay has picked out such a lovely attire no, for you. Chip Jay, 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 Chip, Jay, Jay, Chip, Jay, 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 Chip, Chip, I pull out my gun. Chip, I said I'd do it. I, I said mouth. I'd do it, motherfucker. I cover her mouth. I cover her mouth. <laughs> oh, dear. You you act so funny in front of others. Oh, don't worry about her. Griffin, I have I have attire for you, tailored by only the best. Just for you. It's not attire. It's a chair. It is, uh... <laughs> Courageous. It is bold. And it is functional, Griffin. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? <laughs> I've only the best for you. Here you go, my friend. I give like a slight bow and I hold it above my head. This it just looks kinda, like a black suit at first, so he takes where, it and he goes. This is I, where you I kind of poke an eye up for a second and I look back down. All right, I'll go put it on. Yes, yes, be off. Go put that on. Um. Make sure you turn in your weapons. Oh, turn in our, turn in our, our weapons. Turn in our what? Our weapons? Our weapons? Hang on. What? No, hang on. Why? Why, What, what for? It's a murder what? mystery. How are yeah. we supposed to kill or, or <laughs> figure out not, yeah. not kill anyone? Griffin, that's like, that's like not... We need those. It's a party. They have a pool of blood, Griffin. Inside the manor. <laughs> They're not what? allowing weapons. Griff Griffin, Griffin, think about this. Where do they get the blood? It's a fountain of it. Listen, Chip. Listening. 
or that monsters roam this city. It's their own. It's normal for them. It's a society. So, 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 but if so, danger so, arises so, 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 in this party, so, 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 and the monster I'm looking for shows itself, we will get our weapons back. I promise you that. These are my 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 my. my, my, my but to blend my, in now, <laughs> these, these just are, play the role. Yeah, yeah, I play, I play, I'm, I'm playing them playing the role. But it's, these are my, my, my monsters. You <laughs> You've literally seen it. You flirted with the ghost. You are. You're she the ghost. She thought she, 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 she was like a friendly ghost. Like, like. She, 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 she literally fought a giant <laughs> tentacle creature to yeah, suck your, just, your blood like, out. Nobody said anything about monsters. We fought multiple mama monsters. <laughs> Nobody said we fought so. Remember the thing we fought literally yesterday? No. When the trees were talking to you? The trees. The trees are monsters. Much? How much memory did he get replaced, Jay? I don't think he remembers anything. I know, I remember it. It just, it's just like your name. Listen, look at me. Your name is Chip. You're nine years old. We're good. Give him your weapons. <laughs> I'm nine, okay. nine years old. I flip my gun you over know? and hand it to him. Hey, if that guy doesn't have a weapon, he can't shoot me. You can. And he gets closer. Try and sneak it in. But I don't recommend blowing. I'll cover in this, um... Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, fun. Uh, Especially I if you want this sorcerer's <clears throat> help. I will be a man of of character and give over my sword. He, he, he walks over to like a little uh, sort of like exterior chamber here to dress where they're doing all like the dressing rooms and stuff. So go from the pool mm -hmm. and back. Uh, and in front of you, what I said was walking to the bar room. I, I misspoke. There is actually sort of like a entry room where like a welcome room where you do Sorry, there's a word for it, but I don't know what it is. But it is sort of a smaller rectangular room where you walk in and you there is a drow sitting behind sort of like bars on this desk here. Uh, it's like this uh, same kind of like that matches the floor, this black uh, stone desk. I don't know exactly what it is to describe it, but it's beautiful and they're sitting behind it and they do ask for invitations. And if you have any weapons to keep them with him behind the counter. Okay, so, I'm going. I hand to, my invitation and my gun. I'm going to and, hand over oh. specifically my my sword at my hip. Um, I have two daggers. I have a hammer. I give him that. Make sure um, to yeah. Basically, you know, like you have to hand over your longbow, your revolver, your short sword. I have guy. a short bow. I, I hand I over it, it all. Anything you. Keeps Seriously, I keep several pebbles on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, all right. Mm -hmm. For the for the cane, Bisley, is that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. You're keeping the cane. Yeah. With the sword. Yes. Uh, just roll deception with advantage. Okay. Because it's hidden. And Gillian, um, are you turning things in? I have like so much nonsense in my bag. Like, do I need to give him like a pole of collapsing and like a portable ram? Or can I keep those things? The portable ram, I say, I don't think you're carrying it always on your person. It's probably in the briefcase of holding. Unless you always have a portable ram <laughs> of attached to your hip. I, of course. It's helpful. If it can be used as a weapon, probably turn it in. Oh, it's a party. Fuck. Like, like think about what you don't want to... You don't want to be seen with the, in this as a party. I have so much shit. All right, I give them all my... Fucking... You don't have to remove it from your inventory. Just know that if you turn it in, you turn it in. Okay, I'm gonna turn in everything except, the, except the frying pan that I used to kill that ex-boyfriend the prior day, just in case. Okay, you'll have it like attached to your back under behind your coat. Yeah, it's it's under my leather jacket. That's gonna become the murder weapon. It's A frying pan sin. is fine. A frying pan is fine. I would say. I mean, you can roll deception with advantage as well. But Chip rolled a natural twenty. Holy shit! Oh, I was wondering why he was posing. Thank my you. God. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I rolled a. Why? 13. What are you thinking for? Oh, what? oh, nothing, nothing. Just the crowds, Jay. You're good, Gillian. No, no, no comments. Um, and I at look around. Point, there's no crowd. <laughs> yeah. Um. At this point, Griffin returns, and um, he has to detach his entire forearm. Oh. No. Mm. Or. Roll deception. I'm just trying to figure out which one that Griffin would do. Mm. 
Well, he is disguised as a chair. <laughs> How's he looking? Right, his right. Outfit? I originally described his outfit as being sleeveless, but with the chair suit, it actually covers the arms. Exactly. So I'll roll with advantage here. Don't mind if we also take our chair inside. The highest was a 14. We do need deception. somewhere to sit down after all. Yes, we brought a chair from across the seas. He takes off a few weapons. A large, like, uh, great uh, sword that he seemed to have strapped to his back. That, with, and he takes that strap of, like, Where ammunition. Where did come from? And then he pulls out this, like, light crossbow as well. Um, he just pulls out a bunch of things inside and like puts a bag down as well full of arrows, bolts, Holy and shit. whatnot. Um, but he has the sleeve covering his arm. Um, and the clerk person, the person behind the counter, doesn't seem to notice. Um, nor does he notice Jay's pebbles or anything wrong with Chip's cane. And you guys, with your invitations, are permitted to enter. And you enter in the ballroom of Grim yes. Manor <laughs> with the murder mystery oh. party and ball oh. and that is where we're going to end oh. the session because <laughs> that will happen next session which is cool <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited baby for it. I'm excited for oh. it I'm how do you guys think God. they got the water so thick and red out there by the way blood uh, what what? Stop I bathed in blood? Time for later. Just with it. Thank you all so much for listening to the episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. And especially thanks to our high rollers over on patreon.com slash what the fuck is our URL? Hang on. Patreon.com slash just roll with it. That's where you want to go if you want to hear your name read out loud with all the other people I'm thanking here today. All of the high rollers. Let's start. Alyssa. Amber Curry, Artemis Loves You, Baka7, Ben Manny, Blue Blend Blop, Blue Star 418, Boss Goat, Bowling Ball Iron, Buttery Toast, Cal's The Folded Pizza Zone, Cheshire, Cornier Comet, Crobins, Death Claw, Definitely Not a Turtle, Alright, Dream Strider, Elvish Cyborg, Everett Stoker, Ex Pugaloo, F bomb O2. There's a second one. Finrua, Fly Guy, Gillian's biggest fan, Gr <laughs> Grillian Fried Strider, Jay Newell, Jordan Darlin, JRWI Enjoyer, Jumpiest Venus 34, Jew Zombo, Kev Senpai, Lord Ticklefish, Man Made Imp, Material Seaweed, Mitchell Iverson. Mithril Gear 417, Mr. Nacho, Neko Lord, Netvin, Nonex Lodal, Race Restow, Red Sus over Paradise, R He Kate, R Hecate, Rectate, it's not, no, okay, it's probably not Rectate, Rectate, Robert Gangwer, Riker Sin, Riker Kurotu, Sahara Lester, Salutatien, Sandy007, Scarab5, where are the other four? Serene is actually a skeleton, ah! Sleepy Wither, Spinyax, The Awesome Man, The Letter 7, wait, that's not, Wild James, William Smith, good to see you here, Will, Raytheon, Zerberus, your NB pal Val, and of course, your personal jester. Thank you all so much to all of our high rollers for making this show possible, but also all of the other patrons too. So please, if you aren't a patron, if you want to help out the show, go over to patreon.com slash just roll with it. Pick a tier that works for you and you'll get so, so, so much good content. You will not regret it. All right. That's all I've got. And I will roll you later.